preview show and um today we have got the dlc slash fun um play pool we are going to be dissecting and trying to see which two of these challenge um hopefuls will be making it to the playoffs and hopefully into the promised land of the pros next season um with me i have not one but i have two guests with me um that is overkill uh welcome overkill hello welcome and a caught it cookie now then cookie and he's making his debut on the on the playoff show so uh all the best I'm sure you'll be Hi. fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> it'll be fun um so it'd be good i'm glad we've got you on you two on the show because obviously one of you guys plays chaos and we've got chaos we've got two chaos teams in here and one of you plays ogres and we have an ogre team in here so it's perfect yes. so you that's two it. guys will be able to use all your knowledge and tell us what's good what's not and whatever else needed um so let's get on with the show then um and the first team we're going to have a look at is a red die redemption um from the um the dlc uh, that's a disputed land conference i do believe um and i'm going to start with overkill and uh, let me know what you think of this team well it's coming in quite heavy when you add up all like the players into it it's quite mm -hmm. a high tv so it's getting a lot of inducements away with how he yep. niggled his team, that could be a handicap more than help, really. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a it's a thing, isn't it? Especially if you if you get hit by a mighty blow, um, and if you've already got niggles and stuff, it can obviously yeah uh, uh, destroy your players. But um, he's he is one of the higher TVs. In he is elves, and elves obviously it's uh, he's got two uh, agi uh, two agility players there as well. He's got two pieces of guarding. Is it just two pieces of guarding with elves, which is which is a magnet in elf to get hit. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm it's not bad though. But the, but they'll both be missing the first game though. So that that's, yeah. Uh, the that's... first match is missing quite a few, isn't he? Yeah. So somebody yeah. wants to probably draw him in the first. Whoever draws him first is laughing. Yeah. That's probably the best time to play this team for. But then again, after the first game, he might be dropping a lot more players. He might be dropping a lot of TV. Yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm in this play pool. I don't really want to play him first. I'd rather play him when he's got his other players back, so I get more inducements. I think. Um, but I mean, it, I mean, Cody, what do you think of the team? Do you think there's any standouts there, or any, any weaknesses you can see? Um, I mean, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of niggle going on on that team. Yeah. Um, so that, that that could easily say that could easily be. Uh, especially if the ogre mighty bow is working, they they're gone. Mm -hmm. um, um, and I mean, it's got it's got an AG five. Um, so um, bat must must um, obviously his movement down, but his AG he's got an AG five there. So that that that's his catching piece. Yeah, well, that's his ma ma major picking up and throwing piece. Yeah. Um, he's also got a niggle though. That player. So yeah. He's gonna be getting hit. He's not going to be running away too far. He can't run away from many players. So no. Plus, he's also a leader piece and a niggle on a leader piece. I'm right. Mm -hmm. That's if you hit that. Like if he's going to be a prime target, he needs to put him near backfield because somebody's going to try and knock him straight out. He's he's probably not going to be the catcher. He's probably going to be the one that's picking up the ball and throwing it downfield because he's not fast enough to be a. Pick, catching the ball, he wants to pick it up, throw it, yeah. and stay in the back of the field away from all the action because yeah, he, he, he's your he's your pick balls. upper. Yeah, he's I mean, it, yeah, I mean, he, he's he's a jelly foul. I mean, he has got niggle and and he has got minus one movement. But to be honest, he's going to be out the back anyway, isn't he? I can't see him being anywhere near the front line getting smashed. Or he shouldn't be. Um, no. I'm, I mean, what do you think about number six, Sundance kid? I mean, he, he's supposed to be agility five, but he lost minus one agility. I'm surprised he still kept him because that's a lot of blow. That's a lot of TV for, you know, well, for, for what he is. Like, for, that's 40k onto mm. the team value. Yeah. Just getting knocked straight off. Is it 30, 40k, something like that? 40k, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I had a similar. Oh, sorry, Captain. I'm going to say he's dodging leap, though. Leap's pretty nice. He might have just kept him for the leap and. Dodgeability. Yeah. It's still yeah. movement eight. It's got leap. You know, it, all right. It's agility four. It's not agility five now, but agility four leap is still pretty still nice. Good. Yeah, still good. Getting out of places. 
Yeah. Well, if you can try and set up a blockade and he can just jump over with ball and be like, see, I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he's a nice but, piece. It's just you pay an extra 40k for him, what I suppose is... But would you would you get rid of him and start a new catcher up? Like, what do we know What he's, if he's transferred anybody in this season? And what he's um, I don't him? think he has. If he has, it's a low-profile piece because there's nothing what's screaming out of a, a transfer. And Cavalier Archer, the guys in the booth, Dakota Cookie and Overkill, they're the guys in the booth with me today. Um, um, I, just... I, I tell you what I do like about this team is the naming convention. Red Die Redemption, all the names, I love it. I, I do like I the like... naming convention. I like yes. number four. I'm liking number, that, four. number four. Wyatt Earp, yeah. And Doc Holiday with him as well. The two blitzers in tandem. That's beautiful. Um, my yeah, concern with this, yeah, my concern with this team, and it can still do well because elves can do things battered or not, but the problem is there's a lot of like red crosses all over the shop here, isn't they? And he's going to yeah. be giving a lot of inducements away to most of these teams as well. That is the problem I've got with it. Um, what I want to ask you, and we'll go with, with Cookie this time, which is the best matchup, do you think, for these elves in the play pool out of all the other teams? Which one would you think they'd have best success against? I would, I would probably say the other the other elves. I mean, like, sort of, mm -hmm. the the rest are quite bashy. Um, yeah. So, but that gives, but they're they're getting still quite fast. So, if they, if, if they can get away from the other team. Mm -hmm. um, and sort of score score more than the other, and, and do some quick one turn or two turners. Um, yeah. Then they then they 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 could still be a, they they could still do some quite nice wins, um, just because of, of what they are. Yeah. Um, and who and who they, who they are. But um, I would say high elf with high high elf could be could be an interesting one. Yeah, I mean, Blue Six Max is a, is a veteran of the MML as well, so they're going to be well coached. Um, Overkill, who do you think is the West? Uh, sorry, who do you think is the best matchup for them? I think he's going to be playing best against Ogres, to be fair. Right, yeah, I can see the that. In this pool. Yep. Right, you just out, you outrun the Ogres. Mm hmm. And you, they can yeah. blow the Snotlings, day in doubt. He's got enough tackle to be hitting the Snotlings, and he can just ignore the Ogres. Yep. Yeah, like the oh. best strategy for against ogres is basically ignore the ogres, stay away from them. They're not going to really catch him too much. Yeah, and the the might bone head out a lot. You just beat up the ball handling snotlings and let them fumble around with the ogres. The... Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I I I agree with both of you to a certain extent. Uh, an elf off. Um, the only concern is Cavalier Archer would probably get a wizard. Uh, an inducement, uh, but I, mm. I I think the same as Overkill. That I think the best matchup is probably gonna be the Ogres because they'll be able to chomp on the little Nobblers and they've got they've got the agility and the skill to just and jump that dodge away from them, haven't they? And if uh, he's got him first first game as well, mm -hmm. they're both around about the same TV as it stands. Yeah. yeah. So what that means is the Ogres aren't getting any inducements as well. So yeah. Yeah, I think I think it, is, it would be a good matchup. Uh, high clown zombie. Um, so yeah, now then we've seen what we think is their best matchup. Um, Cookie, who is the worst matchup? Who do they not really want to be playing against? I, 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 I probably sort of I, I would say the chaos and the Nurgle, um, just because of, of they're so beaten up and, and chaos and Nurgle can cause so so much damage. Mm -hmm. um, that that. If they if they don't, if not if they're not able to to get away from them, then I think there could be there could be some other injuries coming in from that point of view. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, yeah. But yeah, both the cast team and your and your Nurgle, I would say. My good old lovable Nurgle. Um, Overkill. Who do you think? Well, if your Nurgle were a bit more developed, I'd have said mm -hmm. your team. But yeah. just for you being just that little bit underdeveloped, you're missing like they, maybe. They're, they're, they're a lot undeveloped. So not a bit. They're a lot well, undeveloped. I'm trying to be nice. Cause you're trying know. to be nice. Bless you. It's okay. Right. Who, who, who if, do you think then? You, you're missing like you're missing like the tentacles to deal with elves and stuff uh -huh. like that. You've got a bit of tackle, but is it enough? I I have the same problem with my team. I feel like I don't have enough tackle to deal with like really dodgy elves. Mm -hmm. That's why I made a signing to help with that, and yeah. But I'm thinking maybe the rats. You the scary rats, yeah. They're very scary, aren't they? Um, and they're, they're the high CV of the uh, the full lot. I, I I don't know if these were one of them teams. What was in the trophy cabinet kit and was allowed to come back at full TV? Because um, I think they had a season Probably. off. 
Um, and yeah, they've got a, they yeah, and they've got a movement uh, ten gut runner as well, haven't they? Well, yeah, they're, they're just as fast. Yeah, they're just as dodgy, in regards. Yeah, but they can hit a lot harder. They've got them pieces that can hit harder. He's got a line that strength four, agility four, yeah. wrestle dodge. He's going to be hitting them elves like a truck. He's yeah. Got the rat, has he got the rat ogre in this team? I think he has. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Have the he's rat ogre. Got a rat ogre. Yeah. He's got a nice little, a couple bits of tackle in there. Where he's, he's got a claw piece as well. With mighty blow, tackle, pylon, guard, block. Yeah. He's gonna be nasty. He's gonna do some work, especially on them niggled players. Yeah. He's got. He's just got like a well-rounded team that's just gonna do some damage, no matter what. Yeah. I I I I, I must admit I think the wet bandits will be a nightmare because like i said they've got that killer with horns and tackle and claw mighty blow and he's got other pieces as well um the only good news for obviously blue max at the moment is he would get inducements probably wizard or something um it is quite a close one i'll be honest i fa i would fancy my matchup with him um because of my disturbing presence not that it usually works but and I, I do have some killers who can against niggles with Mighty Blow and Claw, if, if the power comes through, could do some damage. Um, I think Momo is a bit dangerous. But I think I'm going to agree with your overkill. I think probably the worst, worst matchup is probably the Wet Bandits. I think they've got the one turn. All yeah, they've I'm got thinking the... you is, you're not quite fast enough and you're not no, quite you, you are, slog them down. No, you are true. You are true. Um, and that's, yeah, I, and I agree with you. Slog them mm -hmm. down, your rotters are just rotters. If they had yeah. bits on them to help slog down, yeah. your Pestigars are well stacked. Uh, that's great. Yeah. You're, you're missing a, a Nurgle warrior. I'm guessing you're probably going to pick one up after your first game. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether to or not. I might go the first season with just three and try and bring one I in. I always like it. You've got another Chaos team and you've, you've got a Chaos team in your pool and he's rocking the... Th mm. I don't is know. He rocking the... three? Oh, he's it... rocking three as well. Hmm. Yeah. It, it's all to do with the TV, fun. isn't it? They're all expensive pieces, so it's like... You know, but he's um, also rocking him with 150k, so he might be thinking I'll pick up a chaos for yeah. I think that's what user you would you would do, I think. Um, but obviously, that's what I'd do, but... I always think long term. But we'll we'll talk about them later. But I agree with you. I think I think the rats are probably um, the worst match. I think it'll be a bad match for quite a lot of teams. To be fair, yeah, they do um, scary. They do, don't they? They do. Um, right. Any last words from the, the the people in chat or from yourselves regarding Red Die Redemption? Well, what I was going to say as well is he's got an injured lineman with movement five. Why has he got it? Why has he kept him? That's what I was thinking as well. Mm -hmm. Pancho would Villa, you, number 10. Yeah. Why also, would you keep that? I wouldn't bother. I don't he's know. He's also, also got an AG3 lineman as well, as well, who's injured. He's yeah. got so, at least he's got a skill, but he's got an yeah. unskilled, no SPP, injured lineman. Why is he still there? In my opinion, that I think I think what it is is because obviously it's, it's a long progressive league, and some of these guys are going to get smashed up. He's just putting them on the front line, I think. So Pancho will go on the front line, Zoro will definitely go on the front line with their fend, um, and that's what they're there or they're about. Because the thing is, mm. uh, as bad as the I've... as they are, they are expensive pieces to like replace. That's the thing. And and uh, Cap says he, go on, sorry, go on, sir. I'd I'd try to sack him off and get in a you know a fresh line instead mm -hmm. of you know what's the point of carrying that unnecessary injury? Yeah, I think I think it's, it's because you want to put him on the LOS. That you know, yeah. the, I mean, but how much are they? Seventy k. That's a lot of money. He's only got ninety k. So you know, he's, he's, he he obviously would like him all to be like healthy, but the problem is he just has ninety k. And if he starts losing players, you know. He'd rather be these bashed up ones, I think. And uh, two of the guys have said he likes oh, a big team. squad. Yeah, he says he likes a big squad. Uh, that's what's coming out of the chat on from mm. Cav and Clown Zombie. And I can I'm... understand that. I can get that. But... I, I've not really played him, so I couldn't set to his yeah. style and you know yeah. how he plays. But there's but a it, lot I'd... of questionable yeah. things in here for me. But that's I, I don't really like Elfin, so yeah, yeah. But we'll see. But we'll see. Uh, right, next team then. Who have we got now? Oh, it's one of the cl uh, the clean goons. I can't remember what they call themselves. The White Line Cavaliers, the the head honcho of that clean group who are laughingly are trying to stop the Four Horsemen. Um, uh, White Line Cavaliers, I love the name. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Um, we'll go to Cookie first. Uh, what do you like about this team? Or is there anything you don't like, do like? 
No, it looks like a look. Look, um, I mean, uh, obviously he's got three strength four pieces. Yep. Um, which are which we're giving out, and one of those has got frenzy. Um, so that's that's pretty good. Um, from that, from that, even though he's a catcher, you can see him going out and sort of get getting sort of knocking pieces around to form mm -hmm. holes. Yeah. Um, in that, obviously the linemen aren't skilled up yet, and one's even down to AB seven. Mm -hmm. So he 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 he, he run quite quickly, but it's looking looking not a bad team at all. I mean, it's the obviously obviously hasn't had a lot of time to develop it, but it's um I yeah it's not bashed up. It's one that can maybe this is a maybe I think this is possibly a uh, a, a a season to get things sort of sorted, and then maybe next season. But he could still do quite well. Mhm. Mm uh, overkill. Well, what I'm liking here really is that he's coming in with a lot of players close to leveling. So after that first game, he could he's gone from having barely any skills to having just a, mm -hmm. a ton. They've all just popped in. If he has a good first game, a good first matchup, he could probably level up like four out of his five linemen. He could level yep. up that um, block dodge uh, blitz yeah. there. Yeah. He's he's coming in with a team that's he couldn't play, he, he wouldn't be able to play another farm game just in case because they just would go level 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 mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is but, smart the way it's done it. Yeah, but with what, uh, with what um, Cook is saying about the frenzies as well, though, I hope he's good at using frenzy. I hope he's not like me. I I lure myself into frenzy traps all the time. It's mm -hmm. one of them things where you've just got to be. If if he's playing against somebody who's smart, they'll be able to frenzy trap him quite a lot, and he's going to have to be real, that piece is going to be a a risk. But it's also going to put the thing on: Do I want to go near the edge of the field because he's got frenzy and he'll he'll surf me yeah 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 i mean that that's that it to me i i when i first saw the same i thought oh strength for frenzy love it then i realized it's on the catch and then i didn't like it as much um if, especially if he's going to say right i'm going to give you the ball and you're going to score because i'll tell you now if i if when i go against this and that strength four guy's got the ball it can have a hit i because... don't i don't think he's going to touch the ball i, I think hope he's not. going to be his ball I think he's going to be his ball sniper. You know, you're mm -hmm. caging up, you're trying to stop it. He's going to he's going to be the one that's going to charge in, put a yeah. boot in, dodge back out. Yeah. But I can, can, it can yeah. afford to dive in. It's, it's agility four with, do, with dodge. So he can go in, put a boot in, maybe get close, yeah. dodge back out. Yeah, I, I don't know. I... I... I don't like it. I don't. I'll be honest. I don't like frenzy on that piece. I really don't. It's a capture. You you you, you build them two ways. You either build them as a ball sacker, what he hasn't built it that way, in my That's opinion. That's another thing. Somebody said in the group chat about it, it will help with one turn touchdowns. I'm not smart enough to do one turn touchdowns. But oh, I'm, yeah, I'm can, not. Yeah. <laughs> not too good. They just confuse the living. <laughs> you know how, man. I like, it's so much hard work, isn't it? It's much more easy to hit them. Um, oh, they're quite easy with ogres sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, never. Three, yeah, just throw them. With ten sprints, your feet. Yeah, but other than that, for me, it's, it's gone. Yeah. Or um, yeah. a, a throw in the gobber. That's what cookies. Yeah. That's cookies one turn touchdown. It's not yeah, hard for it. Picks up one of them little snotlers. Snotlings. Yeah. I'll throw throws it. him and hopes he lands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I just I, I just look at that and I just think oh my god he would if he was if I was playing high elves and I think you know um, I would be like oh my god he would be my superstar and I think with frenzy on there it makes him unreliable I mean there is things you can do with him he's also going to be a very good surfer oh, I, I, I've got on record many times I only take frenzy on strength 4 pieces and this is a strength 4 piece so I get that um, I, I just I don't know with all that I, I just it's not a usual don't... skill on else. Yeah, it's it it's, it's not. Right. I don't think it's that. I just think, oh my god, the catcher could be so much more reliable and better without frenzy. Well, um, but it, it may have got, like I say, it may have, it may be a ball snap. He's got something in mind for that catcher. Well, he, he's going to be able to clear the way. That's one good thing, as long as he's doing frenzy yeah. trap himself. And it's all right. I mean, the thing is, I mean, you, obviously Overkill said you've got it. I'm not very good. I get myself frenzy trapped. But what you got to remember is, even if you know how to use frenzy, you know that that doesn't stop the other team saying, "All right, you know, you can have a blitz." But you know what? If you fail, you're going to run into it. And even if he knows that, he's going to be less. He's going to be less likely to go for it. So you can shut him down that way. And you know, I. I like strength four frenzy pieces, but I, I, if that was a blitzer, I'd love it a lot because it's on a catcher. I'm like, oh, man, no, I don't like it. 
I don't. But he'll probably he'll probably be the top goal, uh, top uh, top touchdown scorer. I've said that. Um, I, I, I'm I'm quite keen to see how number eight develops. He looks very nice. Um, yeah. And um, the throw is very good strength for, so he's going to be hard to sack. And he's got block already. It is obviously safe for um, accurate. This is one of them. T- this is, uh, apart from obviously my shade on on the catcher, I really like this team. I've never seen Cab play. That's the only concern. I presume he'll be good. Um, he's not bad at elfing. Yeah. He's bash team. I played him in league once. I played. He'll play in his necro. I'll play mm-hmm. him in chaos. He, he didn't go very well for him. I just smashed his team into the ground. Mm-hmm. But uh, Elfin's a different kettle of fish. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I think he's definitely a dark horse in the in the division. Um, and like I say, it it, it it's a good start in setup because obviously you know what people forget when they see all these trophy cabinet teams coming back at full strength. You know, some of us guys. I mean, my my team I did cut from twenty two hundred to fourteen hundred. Uh, so that's like getting rid of 800 uh, TV um, and the same mm. with these Cavaliers it can only go so far with what they've got and it, it, it's not easy in the farm making sure you've got what you want and sometimes it's it's like um, the look of what you pick up but I think for 1430 if I was looking at this team and I was playing high else I'd be confident in getting the playoffs with this as long yeah, as I don't no, lose I think, many I think, players I think it's, it's definitely a player for me it's one of the, the player for um... Hopefuls, I would, I would, I would say. Mm-hmm. We're, we're not forgetting though; he will get a lot of t- uh, against some of the t- trophy teams. He's yep. got a lot of cap, you know, to put investments yep. in as well, and he'll be able to mm-hmm. have fun with that. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, again, how big a difference they can make in games inducements. A star player can mm-hmm. change a team from being looking meh to just being that one player that will just carry you to victory. And the thing as well, Wizards as well on these high elf or fast teams is so deadly because if you can get that ball loose and they pick it up and throw it, you know, that's that, you know they can soon be two up straight away. Um, so Wizards are always a dangerous thing, especially with, with elf teams and rat teams. Um, Cookie, who do you think is their best matchup out of the, the player pool? Uh, well, I'm going to say Ogres. Um, as as mm-hmm. um, Everkill said, this team can this team can run around this team could could run around them quite easily. Yeah. Um, and 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 uh, yeah, the use of technique. I, I I hate playing uh, AG teams and elf teams because yeah. once they get past them, you can't you can't redo really anything with them. Um, it, it all depends on on positioning. But the ogres are probably the the ogres are probably the 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 best team to that they they will score against. Um, I probably quite easily. Um, from from my point of view, yeah, yeah, that's that's a fair point. Um, overkill, do you agree? But, yeah, he's, he's just not going to have a good a time as the other team that we just looked at because he's, he's missing tackle, he's missing bits. But it don't really matter when you're throwing two, three dice blocks at Snotlins, does it really? Mm, no, no. You're back. I... He's got a, you know a bit of block there, so throw a three dice block in with frenzy on a Snotlin. Yeah. Is about is bound to roll a pow or a, a both down. Yeah, I mean it's let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at the um the yoga team. Got a few diving tackle, not... nice leader piece there. It's not bad. But yeah, I I, I think the yoga team I, 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 like Cookie said, when agility teams are the worst thing for them, isn't it? Because they're so fast and they can they're agility four and go all over the place and they're just an absolute nightmare. And then what you got around as well is you're going to get inducements as well. Mm. Yep. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So, the thing is, he's got a couple of strength fours. He puts a guard in on one of. He put no, well, not a guard, but he gets like a tackle a zone on one of the ogres. It's isolated because it's gone dumb off. Mm-hmm, Something mm-hmm. he might be able to get a, two dice on an ogre. Yeah. In an ogre. Once you knock an ogre down, that can be a pain in the ass to play with. Yeah, uh, yeah, probably Cookie can agree with that. Once you've knocked oh, yeah. down, it's annoying. It's just it's terrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. I just feel like when you ask us who's going to be the best matchup for a lot of teams, it's going to be the Ogres. Yeah, that's it's fair. One of them teams. Yeah, it's one of those teams. I, 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 I get that. I get that. Um, right. Okay. Overkill. We'll go to you first. Who do you think's their worst matchup out the eight? Hmm. That might be a bit more harder. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just going to say rats again. To be fair, you think? For the same reason of yeah. the other elf team, because it's, it's pretty much the same. This one's like the starting of the other elf team, you know. 
Mm. And it's just going to have the same problems as that elf team is going to have against the rats. The rats have got tackle. Yeah. All right. It's been outstrengthed a little bit, but the rat ogre, and he's also got a strength four piece. So that's helping mech it up a little bit. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not. Uh, Cookie, do you agree or do you see somebody else yeah. being more of a danger? I mean, I think I think there's I think the, I think the Skavens are going to be the, the difficult bit for for everybody mm -hmm. just because of their, their speed and their, all that kind of thing. So, um, it, but it really depends on on what inducements come 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 from, come from that yeah. and how he builds a team. And he, I mean, if he if he gets as Overkill said in the, in the first bit, a lot of his team are so if they have a good first match and get lots of induce and get lots of um, SPP, mm -hmm. that team could. Do, Again, you could you could wander around the Skaven. So, I think the Skaven are going to be the worst suck up for for a lot of the teams on here. Um, and it all comes down to to inducements and, and mm. the way people play play things. Yeah, like funnily enough, guys, um, one of the few teams I think will do really well against the Rats is the White Lion Cavaliers. I really I really fancy them against them. Uh, I think, I'm, I suppose I'm going on a bit of a limb here, but I think the worst matchup. For the for for the lions may actually be Snoopy's revenge because of that wolf, because you know you we're all giving you know this, these vibes about these lovely strength four pieces the 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 high elves have got, but then when we look at the good old uh, necro they've got a certain mm. um, fangless guy who's strength five agility four you know mighty blow block claw who could quite easily chew them lovable strength four pieces. Out. He's then got quite a lot of mighty blows as well. He's got to kick piece as well so he can decide where the ball's going to go, hopefully for him. Um, his two whites are very, very nicely built. Both bludgers as well. One's got a like side set, the other one's mighty blow. Got a little bit of guard in there as well. The real nice build team. And anything that breaks through will have to deal with this wolf. And it's, it's, you can say, oh, well, we'll just mark him up. The problem is, is you can mark him up on a two plus, he's just dodging away anyway. And he's got the movement to go hunting. And if this guy gets on a roll, and I know how aggressive Momo is, I think this team's a nightmare. Um, I mean, the only, I mean, obviously, if they can get rid of the wolf, then, hey, you know, this team is a lot weaker. But saying getting rid of a strength 5 agility 4 wolf is one thing, but actually doing it is another. Um, and again, he won't have enough money to get a wizard or anything to help him out unless he spends his own cash. Um, I, I just think these are uh, uh, a, a team I, I don't think Cavalier will look forward to. Um, Gim says the Wolf will die first game. Hope he does. Probably won't, but I, I hope you're right, Gim. Um, but I, I, I just, I don't know. I think the the way Momo plays is a top class coach, and I think, um, I think the, I really think the high elf, so this high elf team will do quite well against the wet bandits. First I don't game, know why. Get rats. But, and the ogre's gonna go through that wolf. Well, we'll see. We'll see. The rat ogre's gonna munch him. Well, I hope someone gets rid of that wolf before I play him. Because that, I, I mean, that, that's a serious. Yeah. I feel sorry for the rest of the pool, but I'm not there, so. Mm. <laughs> but you might meet him eventually if you, if, you know, that's, that's the thing you gotta remember. He's gonna yeah, be a lot stronger. When it gets to pros, there's a lot more scarier teams as well for it to mm. face. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll it, might, it might not line up with me, so long as he doesn't line up with me in the future, I'm fine with that wolf staying alive <laughs> and tearing other people up. <laughs> Fair enough. Right then, let's go on to the third team. Um, what's left of my team? Uh, we'll have a look at my team later on, Gimlick. It it went from 2200 to 1400. Um, I'll, I'll give We're you a clue. <laughs> it's got We're six rods. We saved last. <laughs> Um, right, <laughs> mighty, mighty red. So I'm going to straight off start with, obviously, our ogre expert, Cookie. Um, come on, mate. Tell me, how good is this team? I mean, I mean, ogres get a bad, bad, bad rep. If you look at all, he's got five ogres there, all of which have got um, break tackle, which is the uh, break tackle on an ogre are amazing. Um, the amount of times I've surprised people um, by getting an ogre out of a out of a tackle zone and hitting somebody who didn't who didn't, didn't think was 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 able to be hit. Um, and he's got um, he's got two blocks. He's got a block tackle on the, uh, on, on one of those um, as well. Um, two guards was really good, um, um, and a, and a strong arm on one uh, one as well. Um, so the ogre, uh, he hasn't gone for six, and obviously he can't afford that yet. Um, and six ogres can be a bit of a, bit of a problem because you've got six times of of, of the uh, wonderful order of boneheads happening. Mm -hmm. um, but looking at his stocklings. 
he's got what three break tackles so that that they're three diving tackles mm -hmm. so that's that that put, put in the right place they can cause a problem and people forget about diving tackle um mm. um in my in my last league um i managed to um put down deck on the place that no one knew where he was um until the last minute and it, he called they can call they can cause havoc and people go um diving tackle blind he's got mm. a leader there as well and he's got a, and he's got a a start with short feet and sprint so He's your he's your throwing he's your throwing nobbler because mm -hmm. uh, if you can get 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 him right, right he he's he's gone and up up up, up the pitch so it's a, it's a really good well put together um ogre, ogre team mm -hmm. um but as always ogres have their thing where you have that stupid bonehead yeah. um and I've had it before when I've had four of my five ogres have all got boneheads and people just run around it, around you. Um, but he's got an AG3 there as well, so he might be your ball carrier. Um, you, you can put him in the middle um, and have a have a, a, a strong um, four, um, four, uh, for, for, um, a strong um, cage. Area, area, cage there as well. Yeah. So uh, they're, they're looking good. Um, I'm, I mean, me and Tom talk a bit um, being fellow ogre, co uh, fellow ogre coaches. Yeah. Um, and I, I like I like the team he's got. Um, from that point of view. Yeah. What do you think of Kill? Do you agree? I'm seeing like 16 SPP for a team somewhere along the line. <laughs> the little nobblers. <laughs> yeah. And little snotlings looking like they're going <laughs> to take a boot to their face and get some SPP away. Oh, bless him. Bless him. But I mean, I, but, I think the ogres are good though. Yeah, the yeah. ogres are pretty cool, but they're ogres, you know. They're unreliable. Mm. They're annoying. Mm. Yeah. They're stressful because you want the one that you need it to do something yeah and then it rolls bonehead and then you just sat there going well that's my turn screw because this one ninny's doing yeah. nothing." but on the plus side I mean, that's it's not... fab strength fab pieces though isn't it that's a lot of firepower yeah i oh, mean it's yeah. not it's not it's not means actually are difficult okay it's not means are really di they're av5 but actually they're quite difficult to get down because you need the power hmm. um and or 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 or, 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 or um, already yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've got to tackle it. It's it's fine, but they can they can they can be they can be tough sometimes, um, um, and they can be they can be quite annoying if you're throwing dust dodges. Mm. Um, I've just played a match from uh, I played a match where um, I was down to two ogres and a nobbler, and for four turns my nobbler was just going around causing trouble, um, yeah. because I was putting I was putting it on the ball, so you couldn't put the ball up because it had tackles on it, and every time he went for it. It, it was Deco there on it. Um, eventually got killed, but never mind. Um, but it's, it's the joy of playing ogre. It's it, you. That's, you have to think four or five turns in advance. Um, and hope though, that with, um, Titchy though, you can put a, a snotling on a ball, and he doesn't put a, tack, a minus one modifier on it. Yeah. Like dodge and stuff like that. Yeah. So they just they sit there just to be annoying. They're not mm. yeah. doing anything other than just making it a bit annoying. It's just it's one of them things. You know, your ball coverage isn't very great, you know, with the snotlings. And you don't want your ogres that, too many of your ogres that far back in field because mm. you want them to be up front, causing the pain, making the way down, making it easier for your snotlings behind them to work the way down. But, yeah. With some of these, like, dodgy elf teams and these fast teams, they can just speed straight past the ogres and yeah. hit into the nobblers or hit into the ball. They're gonna have a really hard time. They've only they've got three re rolls and a leader, but the leader's on a snotling. If that hmm. thing dies it's down to four re rolls. I'd yeah. preferably like to see him with a leader on a ogre prep maybe, you know, because they're harder to get off. The, you yeah. know that re roll's gonna stay around. Yeah. But um, we've been on a snotling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It it's I mean just to let you know, Red Die Redemption um did beat they might have reds 3-0 last season, so they'll be uh, gunning for some revenge this season. I mean, the only thing I will say with this team is, um, apart from people in the in the crowd, in the chat, saying that he's a very good ogre coach, is that he's, he's got some very well-put-together ogres. All five of them have break tackle, and he yeah. does have an agility three block ogre. Yeah. Give him the ball, and he, that's going to be hard to get off. I mean, you can screen yes, and slow block, him down. A block um, tackle ogre. Yeah. Well. So yeah. his ogres are, are, are very well built. I, you know, I, I, I never, I hate playing against ogres because I always think, oh, look, all these little nobblers, I'm going to get loads of XP and I'll end up either stunning them or knocking them, or, knocking them out most of the game and I'll get any XP. And then their ogres will just go, just beat my players up. Um, 
so I mean Ogres are always one of those 50-50 sort of teams you know they are unreliable but like Goblins when they do work they are dangerous and them so Ogres yeah well the strength 5 he's got 2 guards the strength 5 he's got 5 five strength 5 Ogres I mean I, I don't I mean he can get more guard, but I think he's going for let's get the break tackle. And obviously, we saw the break tackle on the on the lizards from the reptile heavyweights doing really well in their season with with all that maneuverability. And he's, he's I think he's gone for the same thing. But he, he only had four Saurus. He had a Crocodile gone, and he had two yeah. Saurus. Now, so he was playing with four Saurus and still took it to overtime. And if he'd have won the overtime toss, he may have been the champion. So I, I think break tackle yeah. is a really good thing to have. Um, I would yeah, rather, no, I, I... you know. I Don't usually know. take it on my when I have a fresh ogre. I usually put that's my first skill, is break mm -hmm. tackle, yeah. Um, because it gets that it can get you out of a lot of trouble when it when it works. It get you out of a lot of trouble. And with ogres, it's all about it's all about how much snuffle loves you. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes I've had games where I've had the correct dice and I've done really well. And then mm -hmm. you have games where you throw ones after ones after ones. That's and, the and, and, and and that and that's it. It, it, then they're not an easy team, but they are. When they work, they are so much fun. Yeah. Um. And and that's why I've continued to play. I had times where I've gone no. Yeah. But they 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 are for me they're much more fun and you have to think using rather than having point and click and um, with other teams you yeah. you don't know where you hope it works and I think his ogres are put together well and I like his I like the diving tackle the diving tackle and the and um, put those in the right places and and people don't know where they are. And mm -hmm. they could easily cause 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 some cause some problems. Yeah, and the thing as well is um, break, break, break tackle on the ogres four plus into a standard cage as well. Yeah, yeah. So you know, and there's wow. juggernaut. There's juggernaut. He's got juggernaut on one as well, mm -hmm. which could could clear could clear a cage quite nicely for someone else to come in. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Fair I I, I, I think, think it's, it's, it's I think it's a good team. Um. I really do. Um. Right. What's their best matchup? Um, overkill. <sighs> a dead team? <laughs> if, uh, well, so you say Necro then? <laughs> uh, I don't really know, because it's, it's, it's one of them teams with how well, no matter how well you coach, sometimes, if Nuffle doesn't want it, you're not playing it. It's all, they can have a really good game against any team, as long as the yeah. dice are coming their way. Mm -hmm. But they can have a, a horrible team, a, a horrible game against any team if the dice aren't coming their way. It's just one of them teams where it's like you, they could have a really, really good game up against, against any other team in this league, as long as the rolling, you know, not the the, the boneheads, the rolling nice. Mm. But when they start chain rolling boneheads, any team can just run around them and do circles and do what they want. It's hard to say with Ogres what's going to be a good matchup and what's going to be a bad matchup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. It all well, depends on what Nuffle wants. Yeah. Okay. Nuffle, Nuffle is a big thing. Um, I, I mean, with the Ogres, if if he, if he gets a cage rolling um, against things like the High Elves, if he, if he get those sorted, then he can obviously be knocking those out. He'll he'll be he can get a two die straight away on the on the High Elves. Um, so it, it's a matter of. How he how he plays it against certain 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 people? Um, does he use a rolling cage going up the field, or do you nubble it to get out of certain areas? Mm -hmm. um, as, as Overkill say, the ogres can be good on any team, but once they start rolling ones and when they start start losing ogres and 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 they got and they're powered on the floor and they can't do anything, that's that's your problem because. You know, but I, I would I would say high elves are probably the best bet. Um, but again, their their agility. So, depending on how much they can they can cage him in and not let him run, that's a big that's a big thing. Mm. Well, I, I think the best matchup for him is the curtains. Chaos early chaos, no problem. You outstrength them. You've got my blood yeah. in AV8. Uh, yeah. There's not much of the curtains yet. I'm sure they'll be a very good team in the future. But if you have a look at them, they've got a nice minotaur. But again, they're going against strength Whoa. five. Got an agility four piece, but. They're an all right team, but I think if I'm the Ogres, I fancy my chances as best I can yeah. against most him, teams. The thing with the Minotaur, right, he's strength five. On the Blitz, he's strength six, so he yep. outstrengths an Ogre on the but Blitz. But then again, we're going back to your point about Boneheads. He could roll a one. 
Oh, yeah, I'm... yeah. That's another thing. That's why I don't like Minotaur. Yeah, Personally, yeah. I don't like him. But that that's what I'm saying. I, he's got a bit of guard in there as well. He's got two pieces of guard. So yeah. But again, a, a yeah. Go on, sorry. I, I proved against uh, Cookie when we played first season when I had a decent a bit of guard. I'll throw my guard near his ogres. I was yep. running in with a, a blitz in with a beastman with claw and mm -hmm. mighty blow mm -hmm. and block and just knocking the living snot out yeah. of his Yeah, but no, these haven't got the, these haven't got claw though. That's the problem. They haven't got claw, so they aren't going to be clawing down to AB seven. They've got two guard, but so are the ogres and the ogres are carrying five strength five pieces. These are carrying three chaos warriors. The Mino is going to be just as... In fact, the Mino is more unreliable than the Ogres because the Ogres don't have Lona. This guy does. Um, yeah. I, I'm just thinking of, you know, if I'm the Ogre player, which is the, the game I would target, um, and that is the curtains because at the moment they're still developing. And like I think v oh, it was a Gimlik we said earlier about the Nergal, 1400 and obviously Chaos. You know, they don't get into their stride till 1800 and upwards, I think, personally. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I'm not saying he'll beat this team. I'm just saying I think this is a really good matchup because he's got the same amount yeah, of cards, and there's no claw here, and that's the crucial thing. And one of his best pieces is Alona. So, you know, I, I don't know. And there's only 11 players, so there's no bench. You can put the boot in with your little snotlings. And, um, you know, I think they'll have a chance against these, especially to get them early. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, I think, I think looking, at both chaos, looking at both Chaos teams, I think... You, I think... Chaos might be his his best bet, because mm -hmm. um, the, the other the almost almost killy. Yeah. Um, they again they got there's one mighty blow, but there's no there's no claw on that team at all. No. Um, so I think you're right. When he faces him, because I'm guess I'm betting on Cupcake right there on the almost killer. His next level, I'm I put money on that's probably going to be a claw. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. that's the that's the standard claw build up there. It is. It is. You you are right, but. Um, I think the thing is, Res is a, a former champion, very good player. I'm a bit disappointed he's gone chaos. To be honest, I thought there was, he's I'm such not. a good coach, good such a good coach. I was hoping he would bring Underworld, but hey. He's also got a strength five chaos warrior. He's he does. Got a bit of guarding, you know. Yeah. He's got a strength four beastman, which is strength five on the blitz. Yeah. So you know, yeah. I I feel like you're saying chaos are a bad matchup, but depend on how. The chaos coach plays. They can mm. make, they can eat ogres. They can, they can, but I I just look at it and the, the ogres just outstrength them. They outguard them, or at least the same. Um, I like I said, like ogres are unreliable. If heads out, if you're well, going heads out, yeah, then he can use he can use that to pick off ogres. Yeah. It could, and when but you start I get picking yeah. off one or two ogres. The team yeah. starts to crumble a little the, bit because they're relying on all the yeah. ogres. Being but they don't have. What I'm saying to you though is they don't have the punch. Now that these two chaos teams have the punch, none of them do. So they're looking for above average rolls to get these guards down. Sometimes now that these, now that these two sorry. teams have the plays to foul, either. Um, I'm not saying I'm not saying that they will beat the chaos. I'm not saying that at all. Um, oh, no, I know, I'm not. I'm not trying to argue just because of yeah. chaos. But what I'm saying is, sometimes you don't need the removal on ogres. You just need to knock them down, and that can just make them. It moves them. Mm. It knocks. It makes the movement. What's it movement on an ogre? Five, uh, five or six, yeah. I think. Five. So it makes them move two squares once you've knocked them over. Mm -hmm. If they stand up. Mm -hmm. If they don't stand up, if the bone head one on the floor, would do you want to really use a reroll on that? Depends on, yeah, on the you... where they are in it, I guess. It's knowing it's knowing when to use rerolls. Yeah. Um, and as an O coach, we're not as an O coach, if we win one, great. I yeah. haven't won one in three ma I haven't won one I haven't won one in three seasons. I managed to somehow draw four matches last season. Yeah. And that that was that was a fantastic just there was draw match. Yeah. It's great. If we if we it, it, I, I'm, um, if if Tarn is able to win one or two, he'll be happy. Yeah. Um, I hope anyway. Um, we we're, we're not in it to to go and get a six nil. We're not we're not we're not there to win six zero zero. Mm. If we can get if we can if we can get a, a, a nice win. Um, yeah. And a, and a fun win, and it's all about it's all about fun and and being sort of anything. It's a very different mindset to being like sort of a, a, an elf coach, coach. We're we're just looking to have a bit of fun and a bit of sort of, sort of um, seeing what we can do. And if we get a win or, or, or even get a draw, that's that's a that's great for us. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. For that for that point of view. Yeah, and that's 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 to be applauded. It's great when you see these sort of teams because you you automatically, as long as you're not playing them, you want them to do well. Uh, but I, I think this team's really well put together, and I think this team yeah, no. will win. I think it'll win at least a couple. And I think you know that chaos teams, it it it. It's a really good chance for him to do. I mean, we'll see as the season goes on, but I'll be surprised if the Mighty Mighty Reds don't win at least one. It'd be nice um, to nip in on and do an overview on this uh, league halfway through the season and see how things have changed, especially mm. with the, a lot of in, the really injured team, yep. teams that are close to levelling. Yeah. We can have a look at doing something like that. But um, that's, that's the Ogres. I think the Ogres were talking against, against your team and um, with, with with your with with, with um, that horrible thing where. In order for an ogre to blitz you, you need to make, make three rolls before he actually gets to you. Um, mm. Boneheads, yeah. Um, yeah. So foul appearance, yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously foul appearance. So yeah. And the thing with my team old. is, um, or even ogres are safe because I've got claw and mighty blow, yeah. so I, I have no issue of going after ogres. Um, but hey, that, that's. But then again, I've only got. Yeah, and I've got six rolls as well, so. Um, anyway, that's that team done. So the final team of the DLC. Let's have a look on my thing. It is... Is it though? No, it's not them. Who is it? The Curitans. Yeah, the Curitans, the Chaos team. Now, the only information I have... I actually have some fluff on this guy. I'm sure I do. Let me have a look. I think, I've got, I, think I actually had some fluff on Cavalier Archer while I'm at it. Let me just have a... Go back and have a look. Do, 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 Cavalier Archer. Yes, we. Do, 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 do. I just say this about the Cavalier Archers, White Lions. The Coalition of Clean was formed by the High Elf Min Minister of Sports to the combat growing Nagel Menace, and maybe try to avoid an apocalypse. Spearheaded by the White Lions of White Lions Cavaliers, comprises of off-duty White Lions of Shrace Guard to Percy Guard the Minister himself. So basically, um, the White Lions are the team captains. Um, and also in the, the Despicable Clean Union, we have the Violent Sons, Red Dive Redemption, who we've already spoken about. Um, Bubberman's No Team, what hasn't been put here. Uh, Nordic Pagans, Order of the Holy Squirrels, and the Wee Men as well. So that was them, and Fox did send me something about his team, what we're going to profile now. It says, The Curitans are a cult that believes the Blood Bowl world is so far corrupted and filled with evilness that the only way to cure it is to eradicate everyone and hit the reset button. Once you face the Curitans, you will be cleansed of wickedness. Um, and he's just put a coach profile. I've been a Wood Elf uh, coach since 1992, and this is the first time I'm taking a non-Wood Elf team into a league match. Um, not accounting mixed teams. I chose Chaos because mutations always fascinated me and want to see how I would play them. My goal is to get into the pros with them by the second season. So if you didn't get, them, get to the pros this season, he's going to get to the next season. So looking at this team, I'm going to go to our Chaos Expert. Overkill. Like it? Don't like Probably it? Well, you're the Chaos guy, so you get you get labelled with it. Do you like this team for 1430 or not? It's coming in a bit generalized right I don't I don't like the Minotaur but Minotaurs with Chaos coaches are all down to personal opinion mm -hmm. some coaches like them some coaches don't I believe that 210k if you'd have got rid of him that 210k worth a TV cap could have got him a hell of a lot of Chaos Warrior yeah yeah could have got like a strength up Chaos Warrior that's 150k Put block on it, you know. That's I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the first two things when I looked at this team was what what shot out of me was that first of all the miners had two level ups and not took and uh, he's got block and tackle. I would have been tempted to maybe go close. I I, I applaud him for going for something different. But the thing well, what been... the thing I'll just say this one thing. The thing what really stood out to me is you look how many team rerolls he's got for chaos. None. And well, look where, and he's got no leader. No rerolls. It's following, following after the Warhog, the hairy warthog team style. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. But the, the thing for me is though, right? That he's, he's saying that oh, I'd have took, I'd have took um, something like claw on him. But mm -hmm. blocking tackle are both doubles. Yep. So you. When you roll doubles on a big guy, you you struggle to turn down block. 
Oh yeah, I I, I think blocks the yeah, right call, definitely. Tackle, so so, but for me, it's pretty good. I'm sorry, mm. it's sorry? pretty decent tackle. What, what what else would you put onto a minor on a double? Pro. Yeah, uh, we don't need them rerolls here. By the look of it. <laughs> but I would be putting if I'm going, I would have gone block claw because if I'm taking a minor, I don't take minors anywhere. But if I, I if I'm that. taking minors, I, I it's there for one purpose. It's to kill. Or I'd I'll go like... or I'll go down the tentacle route and try and hold them there. But yeah, te I would I would go ten I would go well I, I haven't played chaos, but I I would I would say tentacles is is a really useful skill to have because it, it yeah. just means you can't go anywhere. So I would I would have gone tentacle. Um, rather mm. than tackle, but each to their own. On a double, I struggle to turn down you know, the general skills on Minotaur, on mm -hmm. your big guys. Yep. When That's Knuckle fun. goes to you, you've rolled a double, you can detect something other than strength or a mutation, you're like, yep. yes please, let Jin me get look, let me go straight into that general, let's have a look through there. Yep. Let's, let's Jin take up. Tackle, yeah, it's, it's giving more tackle to his team, which is... Mm -hmm. I'm guessing what happened, right, is that his, ma his Minos had three MVPs, Right. I'm just looking at how he's levelled. I'm guessing these minor were the first player on his team to pick up tackle. He was he was probably thinking, what if I get L's with lots of dodge? What if I get something with dodge? What if I get some, you know, this mm. minor's going to be able to charge into him, get three dice maybe, two easily two yeah. dice. Mm -hmm. He's got he's got block. He's got tackle. He's dealing with blodges. Well, he's not dealing with blodges, but you know, blodges aren't a problem to him now. Yeah. This minor is hitting what he wants to hit. Hmm. Yeah, if it's... Wild animals, like, I, I, I get your yeah. argument for it, um, but uh, I, I, if, if you're relying on your mano to be going around chasing catches and something, you're not going to have a successful um, career. Well, I'm not because... saying he's going to be doing that all. But that's basically why you take tackle for those, it's getting to the blodgers. Yeah. Um, it's like, if, if somebody leaves, like, a nice tasty piece with mm -hmm. dodge sitting there, you're just like, and your mano's yeah. near it, you're like... Mm -hmm. Well, my minor is gonna hit that. If yeah, so like, so Cav leaves is is like that really strength four weird lovely catcher. piece. Yeah, he's you know he's strength four blood. Yeah, uh, yeah. And the guy, if the mm -hmm. minor's there, look looking at it, that minor is gonna find it hard not to want to charge into that thing and gory on his horns. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a that's a fair point. Uh, but again, we we we're, we're looking at obviously see people make mistakes. How would you both like? to put dodge instead of tackle on there. The reason I say that is because your next skill you could get break tackle. That's a 4 plus cage dive with a reroll no. with a mana. Dodge is a good call. Dodge is a, dodge is a, a, a good call. Mm -hmm. um, also that means he's, he's difficult to put down there as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I, yeah, I, I would, I, I can see why, they, why he's put tackle, but dodge is a, dodge, dodge is a good one as well. And, and the thing yeah, is, break tackle yeah. on there. Yeah, and the thing is, as well, with it being frenzy, it could push out the cage anywhere. Yeah. Um, you know? Mm. But it's I, a more I, immediate impact to tackle. Yeah. And I find, you know, when I was low on tackle, I'm still low on tackle. Yeah. I'm keeping a player just because he's got tackle. He should really be out of my team. Yeah. You, if you don't have tackle, it's, it really rains on your parade when a team comes up with dodge. Yeah, but don't you think though what they say is it on frenzies a poor man's tackle? So usually when he's blitzing, he, and if he's position right, he's going to get three to six dice on a on a piece. So a very good chance you roll in a pow. Um, I, I I don't know. I mean, I'm not I'm not hating on tackle. I'm just thinking. What he's you know, also doing though is yeah. Just, just some, say somebody sets up a frenzy trap for him. Yeah. Yeah. You're less likely to hit into that trap. Mm. Yeah. If you've got dodge, you 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 still as likely to go into that frenzy trap. With tackle, it's one less dice that's bad. Yeah. On for that minor, right? The only tackle dice that's bad for him now. Yeah. Is a skull. Mhm. Mm yeah. So he's making he's make, he's got no re rolls, but on his minor at least, mm -hmm. he's trying to make them dice rolls yep. as safe as possible. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see how he does. I'm more concerned he has no rerolls. He, <laughs> he was a woody coach. Yeah. So he knows what it feels like to get hit by a big tackle piece. Oh, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. But 
I'm sure he's, he's, he would like to think he's more dancer than being nowhere near a mano. But that's the team. Uh, the only thing I hate about the team, really, is there's no rerolls. I, I'm not a big fan of manos, and I don't like the way he's built it. But, apart from the block. Cut the mino, put on another Chaos Warrior. You, yeah, yeah, you, yeah a bit more reliability, especially when you've got no rerolls. But, as we all know, a manos can win games as well as lose them. And like you said, uh, bludgers anyway, any bludger nearby. You know, mighty blow, tackle, block, maybe three die. He could could come off. It'll be interesting to see how he goes on that one. Next level up. Maybe I mean, next yeah, level he... up he's getting claw. You think so? You think so? And then he's I mean, a big I mean, dirty killer. He is. Looking yeah. at you've got three, four, and five are a little bit away from living up. He has got an AG four chaos warrior as well. Yep. And um, with dodge, so that that that's your that's your picking up piece and running piece. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't with... think it's that. I no, think okay. he's there for. He's on the field throwing punches. Next thing you know, we ain't, oh, he's got nothing that can score. Passes off to the Chaos Warrior on a 2 plus, and the mm. Chaos Warrior run, dodges out, runs off, and you're like, what the fuck? Because mm. nobody expects a Chaos Warrior just to be like, right, I'm leaving, bye. Yeah, mm. it, it's. I don't know. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's funny the way he's done this team, because obviously. The manos, there's people who like manos, people who don't like manos, and the same thing with warriors, people like it really on the warrior, but then there's people who say, you know what, Mine they're not hurt. there to score, they're there to, you know, cause carnage or guard, you know, and hold ground and stuff like that. But um, but as Moshot says, each coach needs to build up their chaos and their image, and that's really important, yeah. and if he thinks... I like the the agility for ball handler, or as, as as Overkill has just said, like a, a sneaky thing. What all just pretending to block, and all of a sudden they pass him the ball, and he goes and scores, and that's fun. Um, and it, I I like the way he's built this team, and the fact that it's not a typical chaos build. And the same with Rezzers as well; they're not the typical like what people call the kill build. Um, um, I, I, I think he still needs a lot of development in this team, and he has said in his fourth that he's looking in two seasons time. Um, and when they've got a bit more punch and maybe a bit more guard and a bit more tackle, they will be a, a, a force to be reckoned with. And it'll be interesting to see how he does because obviously he's a one-off coach playing Chaos. So, But we've just had a Chaos champion, so who knows? We may have a Challenge League champion as well as Chaos. So, But we'll see. Anyway, let's go to the uh, the good and bad matchups. What's the good matchup for this Chaos team over Gil? I feel like I'm going to sound like a broken record all night. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go, August? In my opinion... <laughs> Probably Ogres. Fair enough. Like I'm going to sound like a broken record in this league, but I feel like the Ogres are going to be the whipping boys of the league. As much I, as I hate to say it. I don't think they will. I think they're going to surprise people. I really do. I, I think there's a lot of it's undeveloped one of teams. teams. Mm. I've, played, I've seen Ogres played. I've played against Ogres. I've played against Ogres in the tabletop yep. for quite a few times. It's one of them teams that the, the start get, they roll a couple ones and they start getting down. You know, yeah. it, it starts to slog them down to lose the momentum. Yeah. It's a team that relies on momentum, and if its momentum goes at any point, it can just go from you're up shit creek without a paddle. Right. And what one of these ogres have rolled a bonehead. His chaos warriors ran off past. His minos blitzed in. He's you know he's left him. It's left him somewhere. You know, stupid. His minos yeah. gone blitzed in. Boom, hit him, knocked him down. Or um. He's ran off past with one of his beastmen. He's, pa he's ran off past with his beastmen, passed it to his agility for Chaos Warrior. His Chaos Warrior's ran off. He's all right. He's got he's got the diving tackling nobblers, but do you want to put your diving tackling nobblers close? To whether it's going to get chin. I don't, I, I I don't know. I mean, I I I really think these ogres are going to surprise. I don't, I don't think much of this Chaos team compared to, against the these chaos ogres. Chaos team. I, I, uh, it's not my style, but. Chaos are a lot more flexible. They're a, they're a weird yeah. team. You know, you can go all sorts of different ways with them. I, 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 I'll, I'll be honest. If I was putting money on the game, a game between the Curitans and the Mighty Mighty Reds, my money would be on the Mighty Mighty Reds. I just think they're I, such a better team. I'll be I honest. Know, I know Ogres uh, can be good and the coach can be good. but And I know they'll catch people out, but it's a dice game at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And dice do go sour. Yeah, but you've got five uh, and, mighty blow hits coming he, on AB8. If he keeps making him roll dice, if he just throws like these, you know, these mm -hmm. uh, beastmen with no skills, just sit there, go, come on, hit me. He's got a blodge piece. 
you know, he's got mm -hmm. bits and bobs around field, but he'll be able to slug them up. It's it's a weirdly developed Chaos team, but it's his first time playing Chaos. Yep. Chaos has a lot of experimenting to do. Yep. And there's a lot of fun you can, can have with Chaos, isn't there? You know, you can, you can build do some... any sort of wacky build. Well, the thing is, right, with with this Chaos Warrior that he's got here, right, he's got him uh, agility for dodge. Yep. He can put long legs on him. He can, if he rolls another mm -hmm. double, he can get jump. He can get leap. We could mm -hmm. see a flying Chaos Warrior next season. Mm -hmm. Yep. We don't could, know. Though. We can Because... If you get if he gets another double, right, he gives him leap. He's leaping mm. around like a like a um, a war dancer. Give him, he gets access to mutations. You give him a le long legs. Mm -hmm. He's in plus one to leaping. Mm -hmm. It makes him leaping around everywhere on a two plus, and that you can't expect that on a chaos warrior. You can't. You can't. Up. I mean, that's good, isn't it? I mean, he's another make, double, but it can make a. I know. It can make. You can make stupid builds. Chaos, yeah. like stuff that just seems like fantasy. As well, you know, it is a fantasy football game, but you know, yeah. and they just and they just you don't expect it, and it just they're just beautiful. Yeah, um, Cookie, who do you think's the uh, the best matchup for the Curitans? Yeah, well, again, the ogres are uh, if the ogres are having a good day, I think the mm. ogres are gonna, like you. They 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 give the chaos a bit of thing. I think the the net close could be interesting. Um, because again, the, 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 that that wolf that wolf is still around. He could he could do some that some 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 damage. Um, it, 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 it all depends on the dice rolls with with other with people. Yeah, the ogres might be the whipping boys, but they are there to surprise to surprise as well. Um, but yeah, net close could be interesting. Net close net close could be the, the, the interesting one on that one. Yeah. I agree with V Power what he said in the chat. What's that? A lot of dodge a lot on of this dodge, chaos. Which is a problem for ogres. Oh that og team's got one tackle piece. Yeah. But again, they can get three die on a lot of these things. Unless you're going for the chaos warrior. But the thing we gotta remember is they've got no rerolls. They haven't got a bench. It can foul. He can he's got five mighty blow pieces. He outstrengths him. I I I I, I, I get what everyone's saying about the ogres. I, I get it, but match to match and if someone turned around to me and said right you can coach the curtains or you can coach mighty mighty reds i would not hesitate and go on mighty mighty reds um the curtains. because no re-rolls i mean come on you're agility three mainly and you're av8 the, the, no the bench re are, the re-rolls in the leader or no that that, that would give me a new problem you you, you make them you are you talking about and the ogres and boneheading if you make a mistake with the curtain so if you Mm -hmm. Try and pick, pick, pick the ball, put the ball up, and you fail that, fail that pick up, and it's in your backfield. If there's an upper in the right place at the right time, he can get, to, he, and he can get to that. He will. Hopefully, every day uh, of the week, he's going to be trying to catch it with number six, pick it with number six. It was a two plus to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put stuff but, around to make it so he doesn't need re rolls. Is in a way, if you know what I mean, he's got enough skills there that. Yeah. But is it, it's, no it's, 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 it is down to, it is down to nothing and down to dice and. Um, with no re rolls, you don't you don't have that thing. Now, obviously, he will have a bit of um, inducement, so he could buy a re uh, he, yeah. he could buy a re roll, buy a re -roll. or yeah. two. Mm -hmm. um, or so he buy a chainsaw. Well, yeah, well, that just makes it even worse if he buys a chainsaw. If he buys um, a chainsaw, run, 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 buy ogres, run, 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 you know, we were saying about, oh, well, they'll, they'll, they'll roll ones and that. But, you know, that guess what? That number six doesn't pick the ball up on a one either. And he has no re-rolls. I cannot have a team with no re-rolls. Now, this team may be good in a season or two time. And he has said, Fox has said, look, this is a long term, a bit of a long-term project. So I'm not going to hate it with him on that. But I, I, I cannot take this Chaos team against the Ogres. But I think the Ogres five, should beat them. You're saying he doesn't just swing on a one? Yeah, but mm. five of his players don't just stand still looking at butterflies when he rolls a one. I know, but guess well, what? Know. He has four re-rolls. This guy has none. That's the you difference. Know, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, 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 very, it's not very often that all five of your ogres yeah. aren't around. And also, you don't have... So, you don't have... You don't... I, I'm learning is you don't have to activate your ogres. Mm. It, it, oh, yeah. it, if, if, if you think, actually, I don't need... I'm, I'm learning... Um, from my, uh, when I first played Ogres, I was activating every turn. I was activating them. Every turn, I would lose at one or two places. But mm. if you've got your Ogres in the right place and they can stay there, um, 
and you've got and especially if, if it's your drive you've got you've you've got you've got turn eight and um, you've got a number of turns to get out there you don't have to be moving every single turn and that means you can be yeah. blocking you can be doing doing, 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 doing doing stuff it's how you play over this it's, and it's but it's like how you play at, at any teams mm -hmm. re rolls are important and i think he, he can buy re-rolls and chainsaws yeah but they, they don't when they work they work but sometimes i, I mean but he asked me for the best matchup yeah all yeah. the other teams are gonna shit on him i think personally Ooh. So you, don't, so you think this is probably the best out of a bad bunch then? Yes, because yeah. of how his team's built, it's not very well, it's not very, it's, yeah. it's like, you know, yeah. Yeah, and I, under, I understand 10, that. Yeah, mm. yeah that, that fan factor, yeah, it, it's a killer. Um, Cookie, do you agree that that's his best matchup or was there anything else that was his best matchup? Um, I don't, yeah, it, I mean, again, you could look at the elves. Um, um, they're 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 unvalued late. So again, you, you they're they're especially the ones who are injured already. That could, that that could easily be um, if if they get into a slugfest. They could they're, especially is it Red Denton too, who've got all the injuries. Mm -hmm, yep. And Dive Red Dive Red Denton. You've got a, the, the chaos could easily take that team apart quite quite nicely. It's got a bit of tack on it, mm -hmm. but. Um, again, with all, all, the, all those injuries, um, and they can't move that fast. I mean, yeah, they, they, those elves aren't moving that fast at far either. Um, yeah. Six, seven, so you can they, they could easily um, get get them nicely nicely done as well. So, um, Red Dead Redemption could be could be an could be uh, an interesting one with those, with, with, with those two. Ogres, are, ogres, ogres, yes, but I think you're, you're right. I think it's going to be an interesting. Interesting um, to see how it did, but uh, yeah, but then that could be it could be any could be an interesting one with the, yeah. uh, all the uh, other high elves. Uh, I I I agree with both in a way. I'm try I, I find it hard to to f pick a really good matchup for them. I I did. I'll be honest. I did fall down on Red Die Redemption just because we've been beat up, and if he plays them a bit later in the season, he'll be getting a lot more inducements. Um, but as as I think Morshot said, uh, Coach Watch is good positional. Uh, good positioning to limit his dice rolls um, and, and like I said tackle and mana is great but you know they're unreliable anyway so um, I, I think it's going to be a struggle I think the, 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 the further it goes on in the season the better they'll be and the more dangerous they'll be but um, I'll um, yeah and I, I'm, I'm going to agree with Cookie I, I think if I'm going to pick one I'm going to go Redemption and, and that's just is it uh, depending on his achievements, I mean, he he can he can get a, a nice star player with that and all that kind of thing. So he could he could easily get a a chainsaw, but he could get he could get uh, another chaos warrior or an, an, another minnow to go with through that. So it does depend on it on his on his what, what he decides mm -hmm. on his um yeah. on his inducements. Yeah, he's, he's a good coach. I've played him a few times. He's a good coach. So that that's one thing the Currens have got going for him. I like his story, his fluff, and everything. And I do believe Fox will do well, and one day he will be in the pros. I just I... think at the moment the team just needs a bit more developing. What's fine because it's chaos and we're at fourteen hundred. You don't expect a chaos team to be ready at fourteen hundred. You That's say my... about these elves though. Mm -hmm. He's still got movement seven. Movement yeah. Eight piece. He's yeah. Got movement eight piece. He's gonna. Th he's got a. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna throw. Yeah. To that it's movement. tough. They're all tough. Yeah, I, I like you said you pick the ogres because you can't see a good matchup. I can't at the moment. But I'm just thinking if he's plays him further down the I'm line taking, he may I'm have a better chance this is the first game of every right every okay game. i'm taking it as the first game of the season yeah because you could say that about any team later on you could have a really good game against cavalier's team that's been murdered by that wolf yeah if that happens yeah if you take it as what you see him as now that's why i'm thinking the ogres well even even, even then i'm still as if i'm the currents i want red die redemption first i certainly don't want anything to do with them necro without bloody crazy thing i don't want the cowboys because they yep. could chew me up uh, I wouldn't be too bothered about going against Resno too much at the moment with him not having any claw if I'm if I'm the curtains. Um but I don't know. What what's what's the worst matchup then for them for him uh, Cookie? What do you think is the worst matchup for him? I, I Skaven, I think. Again, mm -hmm. that's that, 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 that Skaven team's looking looking mean, but he is gonna get four hundred T V to play with. Yeah. Um. So again, that's that's your rerolls. That's the star player. Um. Oh, but I think the the the, the, the yeah, back of, uh, the, the 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 again. I think 
with some of these teams, it all depends on the the, the inducements that they take, um, and where where they uh, are, are. If they, if they play at the beginning, then anything. But yeah, I mean, Skaven. I think Skaven would be difficult for him to play against to start off with. Yeah, I, I yeah, I I can totally get that. Uh, the only good thing, obviously, for the chaos is obviously they'll get a lot of inducements. Yeah. Uh, overkill. Do you agree with that, or do you think there's a a, a worse matchup? Necro. Yeah, they're a bit nasty, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> what wolf. I'm, right, what I'm, what I'm thinking is for the rats, he's gonna, he's gonna get some inducements. He can get a black oof. Can you imagine two minotaurs running wild on that field? If the, if they're running full weight, you know, that can strip some players off. Yeah, right, yeah, I know they have to run well. But what I'm thinking is, right, the necro team looks nasty. Right, it and does. he's not getting any inducements really. He's getting a babe. Yep. Yeah. He's getting a babe, and that chaos team, and and that. Um, Necro teams, they're punching at the same way, but the Necro teams looks a lot more refined. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking he's not getting any inducements, so they're not going to put a factor into it. It's just pure on team and playing. He's got no rerolls, like we said. Uh, yeah. Necro's coming in with a fan factor of 11. So yeah, yeah, even higher fan, fan factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a good point. What you've got made. One he's got one reroll. But yeah, his team's looking out. Yeah, he's got, he's got two re-rolls. I forgot about that leader. Yep. I didn't see that. But he's got two re-rolls then. He's got that werewolf that's going to be shredding round. Mm -hmm. He's got more guard. He's got movement seven whites. It's, uh... Yeah. It's you know, a scary it's got, team, isn't it? It's punching very hard for what weight it's up. Yeah. But... I know this is easier said than done, but let's just say, I don't know, he loses the wolf to a random rock, or fair through 10, something happens to the wolf. Is this team that good without the wolf? Uh, the whites are pretty nasty. The whites mm -hmm. are pretty yeah. nasty. I, I said that, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I think got... this yeah. is a nasty team. I, I do. Um, He's also got some Mighty Blow Flesh Golems, you know. And a Mighty Blow Zombie as well. Thick. And if it's... <laughs> that's unusual but yeah let's go for that mighty blow zombie yeah. well. but Monmo uh, to me is always about killing stuff he likes to kill stuff does Monmo he loves killing stuff who doesn't Mon it's no Monmo loves, loves to kill Monmo loves to kill stuff um, yeah he could get that wolf beers because 310 of it's in the other one um, yeah, what I was gonna say. yeah he could go if he has him that second game Momo could have picked up that second wolf, and that's yeah. another problem. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. I, 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 when I looked at this play poll, I was like, oh, I don't really want to play this team. I'd rather play them when the wolf's gone. <laughs> but so, uh, then you know I, I mean? thought, so, you know, I'd rather opinion, play him first. Yep. They've not got, he's not got much inducement coming for him, whereas the rats he does. Usually I've said the rats are the worst matchup, but. Yeah. So I think personally it's going to be the Necro because he's got no inducements to give him a hand. Okay. You can't buy extra rerolls. You can't buy a, a star player. You can't buy anything. You can get a babe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think well, it's, it's not gonna. It's not gonna all right, that okay. Much. Well, I I'm gonna pick up his worst matchup. Um, the play grid and cowboys. The cowboys know how to play against chaos. I just think that team looks rubbish. I think I the think, cowboys. I think, I think, uh, <laughs> I bet Coach is rubbish as well. Oh, well, he is. He's yeah. terrible. He's helping. No one thing. Four, Go on. Four horsemen are lame, except from that run. Do you know the pro horseman? Yeah. Okay. Um, one I thing this the, the, one, the one thing this team's got, what you haven't got, and what the rest of these guys haven't got, or anybody's got, is Mad Frankie Fraser. He is scary. He caused I carnage last time he was in the MML. Everybody knows Mad Frankie Fraser. Does he have a, does he have a championship oh. belt? He doesn't. He doesn't. He, we, I retired. I, does, and that's where I've got. I've, I've, I've got a championship belt on one of my players. A ch right. Not but under did, me. Ah, oh, right then. Oh. Belt. Right, okay. Well, you know Frankie what? He's, he's won... He's, He's won plenty of awards as Frankie Fraser in the MML, so he he's fine. He's he's all right for that, and he's not really bothered about. He's not bothered about these lovely trophies. He's not about killing stuff. That's his <laughs> job. He kills stuff. So whether you're dancing around with your lovely agility for a prehensive tail, he'll be coming in to kill. That's the difference between the two players. 
Um, muscle, no, one, muscle Brothers will be protecting him with his claws. Nobody, nobody, on. nobody protects you from Fraser. I'm sorry. P people who know the MML know that if this guy's on the pitch, he's gone against the best. He's played against more shots. Is legendary. Probably the best chaos team ever. I agree. So he, with, I agree with uh, Beers here. Cowboys can't beat chaos. Come on, Bernie. We have beaten chaos. We've beaten more shots team before. We just can't play in the rain. We can't play. We can't play in the rain. That's the problem. A bad coach blames the weather. Well, we'll coach. see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I think. I think. I don't think I'll, I'll get into the playoffs this season. But I think if I can keep my team alive, we'll do all right. I, I really find some matchup against Curtains. I hit harder than he does. I've got more re rolls than he has. I believe I've got better plays than he has. So I'm going to pick myself. Never... He gets no inducements as well, currently. I mean, no, he, he, I, I, I've actually 30k under, so I could yeah. spend some of my own cash. And I'm not going to be one of these coaches what will hide behind things. If I fancy myself against the coach, I'll I'll say it, and I really fancy myself. Does it mean I'm going to beat him? Of course it doesn't. But if I'm looking at a um, a team I want to play against first up. Oh, they're fighting talks them beers. Oh, be beers, but me, 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 me and beers, anywhere, are, me and beers that only ever played once, um, and that was I think was it the first game of 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 that, and we finished but, top but, of that well, league. We finished top. Yeah, but to be fair, then beers has got a hundred percent record against. Uh, he does. Playgrid and Cowboys. Uh, yes, he so does. 100%. He does, and he can have that. And the champions, baby. They are the champions, they are and, they champions. and they deserve to be the champions. They deserve to be the champions. Um, don't worry, Beers, I'll rep you. I don't know what that means. 2 1 loss against Para, misremembered history. Oh, I don't... Like you sound, it sounds like you lost to the Power Hour as well. You're making. We have lost to the Power well. We have lost to the Power Hour, but we have beat them as well. Um, only once. Oh, we've only played them twice. 2 1. Back the Cowboys beat Bill Power Power Hour. There we go. You beat them now? I, I, have, I need to look in analytics. I have beat them, so there you go. But anyway, that at the at the time we are not talking about the Cowboys. I'm just saying I think they're the best <laughs> matchup. Um, and like I said, you know, the, Sorry, if, but I'm just, just, chaos. you can rep his chaos. You can rep his chaos. That's no, not I'm a problem. Rep I'm representing chaos as a fool. Right. Now okay. The horsemen, right. The chaos nation. Right, let's get on to the next lot then, because we've been an hour and 17 minutes and we've only done four teams. Right, here's, here's a team I like a lot, the Snoopy's Revenge. Um, really, really, really good um, team. They've got probably the best player. Um, oh, thank you, Beers. I'm glad someone's talking sense. Um, I think this team's got the best player in the, in the play pool. You can disagree, you can agree with me, I don't know. Um... This werewolves are scary. Um, Cookie, apart from the werewolves, yeah. what do you think of this team? Um, um, the werewolves good. Um, the, um, the whites look amazing. The, um, the whites can do some damage, especially with that guard and um, one with mighty blow and, and and block. So the whites could could easily sort of go down the field and, and do that. That the zombie with mighty blow, um, yeah, that's unusual, but I think it's still still a great idea. Um, yeah, there's, there's some really good interest. I mean, again. Um, there's a couple of players. Give it a couple of turn, a couple of games. They could be, they could be going, they could be um, leveling up. So yeah, this is a a, a, a good a, a good team. Um, first got them. Um, so yeah. Um, the only thing, yeah, yeah, I, I I like it. I think it's a good team. Yeah, I I love this team. I really do. I think Mumbo is one of the better coaches of the MML by far. Um, and I just think this team, he knows how to play a Necro. <laughs> that wolf, I don't know how you get that wolf down, I'll be honest. Um, Overkill, what do you think? Quick run of uh, Wolf's going to carry this team. And once yeah. that wolf dies, his team's going to flounder a little bit. I just that don't know who's going to get but... it, though. I mean, that's, that's a strength five for Chili 4 Wolf. That's. And he's going to have know, another wolf after one gonna, game. It's going to be it's going to be struggling for it to get it down, but if it does go, that's going to end the team. But he's got great whites. Yeah. Other than that, it's just a generic, decent mm -hmm. necro team. Yeah. That's, yeah. I've already said what I think about it when we've said about matchups yeah. with the last Fair matchup. How I think that team is. Yeah. Okay. Cookie. So, uh, best uh, best matchup for the wolves. <laughs> um. Best that was well. <sighs> 
Uh, I mean, my, my heart is saying probably the, against against the ogres, but if we take the ogres uh, ogres uh, aside, I think they could have a game against uh, the, the 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 chaos or the high elves, and even maybe perhaps your Nurgle. I think mm-hmm. they're a team. That, 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 that were, if that wolf stays alive, um, he as as Eric was saying, he he will make or break this team. But I yeah. think he's got a chance. Of it. I I think playoffs for this guy, for the, for, for for this team. I think um, I, I've played Momo um, before, and he's a really good coach. Um, and I think it, that will set their lives, and he, he gets a few nice inducements from else, elsewhere. Um, it could be it, it'd be a, it'd be it's gonna be a handful. Mm-hmm. Um, Overkill. His best matchup. It's a toss up between the chaos that we've just talked about mm-hmm. or the ogres. Yeah, yeah. I I think the best matchup's probably against the curtains. I think no rerolls is going to be struggle, and he's got that strength five wolf who's going to be a nightmare for every. What? Who's he's the? Got who's claw. A, yeah, he's got claw as well, he's and it's mighty blow. into the chaos warriors. Probably claw into everybody. To be fair, um, even, yeah. even the even the ogres. I mean, strength five, nothing safe. Uh, West matchup there. Might Come not. on, Kelly. Must be a West matchup for them, is he? Um, the Skaven or you guys? I, 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 the Skaven or, or your Cowboys? Oh, really? Um, I think, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like the rats against them to be honest, because it's all right. I mean, a lovely strength five wolf, but they're just going to score. They're going to, hey, whatever, mate. You, you can have him. I'll just stick a, a lamb rat near him. He can chew him up, and I'm just going to keep scoring, mate. You mm. know. Um, the good, the good thing turner. is though, he does have inducements. Yeah, that one turner, you know. I can't see the wolf stopping oh, that. Oh, oh, I mani- I've managed to grind it out to 16th turn. <laughs> yeah. It's a 1-1. One, one. I put my rat on the line. He runs through. He dodges. Oh, it's just touchdown. Shit. Yeah. Vipa was saying um, he thinks Cavalier Archer's um, high elves would be, be really bad for him. Plus yeah, with all that strength. strength. Yeah. So maybe, you know. Yeah. Depend on targeting with that wolf. Mm-hmm. And maybe be, might be able to throw in some, you know, flesh golems into the mix because the, his flesh golems aren't too bad. It's a bit yeah. weird that he took Mighty Blow over Block first, but that's the classic in Bashness, whether you take Mighty Blow first to level up faster or Block mm. to be safe. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I, think, I think the faster teams will definitely be worse a matchup like, obviously, the Rats and obviously yeah. the Elves. I think they'll do a lot better than the slow teams like the Chaos and, and the, the Nagel, definitely. Um, but yeah, I, I, oh, God, I agree Revenge with some scary. regard for your cowboys. His wolves got to try and get through. You disgustingly resilient. Oh, that's yeah, resilient. That's, I know what you mean. Foul appearance. Foul appearance. Disgustingly resilient. That's a Warhammer rule. No matter. Um, too many board games. Um, yeah, he's got to get through your disturbing presence, your foul appearance. You yeah, mm-hmm. that's just gonna slog him down. Yeah, I, th- I think you if I if. If I play in first game, I might induce a wizard and bolt the fucker. You, you've got a strength five Nurgle warrior. You've got mm. two pieces of guard there. You, you've got claws, well, so you could probably guard up, smash in, drop, you know, yeah, drop elbow onto him. You've got your, you've got, have you, have you said Mad Frankie Fraser? Mm-hmm. You can put two guard pieces around him, blitz him with him. Yep. Hit into him, pile onto him. You've got tackle, you've got block. He's, he's got tackle, he's got block. He's got mighty blow, he's got claw, he's got pile on. You might be the one to delete that wolf. Possibly. I, I, I'll be honest. Uh, I'd have to get a bit lucky, I think, but I can see where he's coming from. You have to get from. lucky, but that's, <laughs> yeah. you've, you've got the tools to be able to do it. Yeah, I, don't know. I think that's fair enough. But I think play Mama before that wolf. It'll be hitting I and running, with I think. V power, turn one lightning bolt, I think that means, or turn one wizard on the wolves. I, I will, I will probably, if I play him first, I will probably, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm allowed to use my own bank to buy a wizard with one of the inducements I get, what's that, okay? And I will wait until that wolf is close enough to bolt and then stamp. Um, I will, I'll do it, Archer. I will, and anyone, <laughs> anyone who's seen me play will know I've got no issues with buying a, a wizard on something ridiculous like that. Let him come to me, bolt it, and then I will foul. I have no issues in fouling a strength five agility four. Because even if I just get off the pitch, it means I can breathe easy for you know that draft. So um, you know, you, you, when, when you play against, yeah, 
Well, Keeping yeah. that player off the field as long as possible. Is a, is a bonus. And it's only 50-50 yeah. if it comes back as well, with him being obviously ITV. But I think the team's brilliant, and I know for a fact, next season, the transfer will be another amazing wolf. I'm almost certain it'll be another amazing wolf. Yeah. And it's just the cause carnage in the pros it's for everybody. Nobody's going to be safe from this, this team, I don't think. Um, but I'm hey. I'm drop into CL, it matter. He'll be winning to pros, I'll probably be dropping back down to CL. <laughs> so Surely a chaos guard not hiding from a little old wolf. That's not very chaos. I'm not hiding. I'm just, I'm just saying I'll probably get dropped out. CL, I'm not hiding. It's not my fault. Right, let's have another look at another good chaos team. Almost Killy. Resno rules you, obviously. He's retired those beloved Wood Elves after the poor old Grease of Death Guy got killed. Um, this team does have rerolls and has three of them. He's got a nice no strength far. He's, yeah, no mind at all. So it gives him a lot more wiggle room because he hasn't got that thing. Um, nine. Mm. Um, I, I, I think it's an alright team. I mean, Overkill, do you like this team? I, pref I presume you prefer this yeah. team to the Mano team. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I don't like Mano's. He's got mm. an agility thought, sure hands block. He's got a ball carrier there. Nice little ball carrier. Maybe ne if he gets a double, he might get dodged, and then that he's just going to be a pain to his side. Yeah. Um, he's got an extra hand strength four block piece so another yep. ball carrier but it's strength four so he's got one that's going to be able to get out of the way he's got one that's going to be hard to tackle he's got a leader so he's got three rerolls and he's got a leader yeah. on a chaos warrior leader on chaos warriors is like gold dust it took me forever to get hold of mine and a lot of begging mm -hmm. so that's mm. nice he's got two pieces of guard but he's one light on a chaos warrior I'm assuming probably after his first game is gonna buy a Chaos Warrior, but that's yeah. what I would do, but Yeah. It's a nice you team, isn't it? He might like Minotaurs, yeah. he might buy a Minotaur after his first game. I hope not, but you know, <laughs> some people like him. I don't. He's I got like a this nice team. movement little seven piece. I had a, a movement seven piece that I used to keep near back at field because a, a, somebody that's trying to make a break for it at strength three, you can blitz your strength four. You know? That's what that's what I love about the horns. He's got a nice little bit of everything. He's got the starts of a killer with the block mighty blow close to his next level, probably going to be claw. He's got a block tackle piece to deal with some of the elves in the leagues, to deal with Snotland, mm -hmm. to deal with the uh, Pears has just said, Bernie, the wife follows you now. You're fucked. <laughs> Well, I, I appreciate your wife having good taste following me. Uh, tell her thank you. Uh, Baze loves Manos. Uh, Mo Shots doesn't. <laughs> so there you go. That, that's the great thing about Chaos, isn't it? Some like them, some don't. Um, and I are going to disagree with Shots. No way. Um, I, I, play, I played a game with them. A couple of games. I played. I made a farm team with a Mano to get a run. Mm -hmm. I tried playing with it. I just felt like it narrowed my blitzing options down. It narrowed mm -hmm. my options down in the team. Whereas I don't want to do that. But some people really like them. Yeah. Like, I know from back, one of the old people that he's played that he's not in the MML anymore, he left. Dolsey, his, his minor, what he had when I played my first season, that minor was stacked. It had yeah. tentacles, it was it were a strength up, it had, you know, every, it was a nightmare to play against. But it's getting it to that point. You better off transferring in a stacked minor, but... I don't like playing them, so how are you going to get a stacked minor? Yeah, yeah, I, I get, I get. I, um, Resonance is a good cut. I, I would have loved to see him go underworld. I, I won't lie. I thought it would have been so much fun, and they would have packed a punch. He's got, and... the, he's got, a, he's got the tools with his Chaos team. Mm -hmm. it, it probably yeah. needs another season in the CL, but yeah. I could see it making a run as it is now. Depending. I could, yeah. I could as well. It's I mean, Res is a great coach. Yeah, it's, a good care, it's a good it's a good it's, 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 it's a good chaos team, and and there's the potential to it. It's a good base for a chaos team. It needs some bits and bobs, but chaos, like we were saying earlier on, chaos at this level is you know, yeah, I agree. This strength leader with strength up is so sweet. Yep, it's going to be hard to knock off at field. Yeah, but like like we've been saying with chaos all along, at this TV level, this. They're just starting to get into the flow of the things. They need a bit more to be there. So I feel like he's got yeah. the he's got the base down. He's got a nice base. Yeah, I I think you'll find that with both Chaos and Nagel and the Nagel team is you know they may they may need a season or two just to develop 
you know, some core skills and then there will be a force as long as they don't lose too many players. Um, but I like the way he's built this team. I think because it's Rez, it's got a chance to make the playoffs because he's, he's just such a good coach. And, you know, they can move... Yeah, and they can move the ball. I mean, Muffler can move the ball quite easily with his show hands and his agility four. Um, so, yeah, I mean, pff, uh, Cookie, good matchup for them. Um, good ma- I mean, as you've we, been saying, uh, uh, the other, I think the uh, the, uh, the other chaos. If they if they go against the other chaos to start off with, I think they could, they they would cause, cause the other chaos and not 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 trouble. Um, if they, if they think, uh, they get a bit against the ogres, so uh, and 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 the uh, so depending on what they the ogres having, but the the other the other chaos or the elves. I mean, I. Uh, I'm not very good at sort of telling. I, I have I haven't played chaos, so, I, so I, I'm not. I don't like my nails. Uh, but I I think the other cast could be could be a good match good for them. Mm-hmm. Overkill, do you agree, or are you going to go with the ogres? <laughs> <laughs> um, like I, I feel like the other chaos. I like playing chaos matchups. Mm-hmm. You know, chaos versus chaos. Like as long if manage the more developed chaos team or the well more well rounded chaos team, it just makes it easy. If you've got more guard than the other chaos team, you're laughing. Yeah. Because it just comes down to attrition. It's an mm-hmm. attrition based game when you're playing the ma- match, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But it's how I like to play my my matchups against bash teams. I like to play it more attrition, where I'm gonna try and lower your player count down. I'm I'm wanting to knock you down below where I am. So then I've got more freedom on the field. He's got the skills to make that happen against the other Chaos team. But the yeah. other Chaos team has got some of the nice pieces. But And then with the Ogres, he's missing the Claw. Right? If he gets Claw on that um, on Cupcake, mm-hmm. he can start hunting down some of them Ogres. Yeah. Putting some work into them. Yeah. But as, as you say, if you're going from, say, game one, you, what would you go? Would you still go with the ogres, or would you go with with the chaos, the other chaos? Uh, the both, the both good coaches in the in all regards. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the rerolls in the mirror match is going to play a big part yeah. as well. Yeah, that's that's what I got it down to. I think Resno will quite happily go against the other chaos, and the reason I like Resno is because he's got all the re- he's got all the rerolls, and the other team don't. It's... He's got three reels. He's got two nat ones, and he's got yep. one from a leader. Yeah. And that leader strength five, and he's got block. Yeah. So um, yeah, I I I gotta admit with you, I think the best matchup is the chaos. Now, worst matchups, Cookie. Who does the chaos don't want to face? I I to be honest, I think he has a good chance against he he has a good chance against anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I don't think there's a I don't think there's a, a a worse match for him. I think it will depend on what the others bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Um, as we said, it, it's a good starting chaos team. Um, Necro with that wolf will could could be could, could be thing. And um, I mean your cowboys um, again to, in order to hit one of them they they need to roll two or three dice. So. It's 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 one of those things where it could go down to how the how the game how the game goes, mm-hmm. um, but I, I think it's, I think it's not a good chance for anybody really. Yeah. Um, Overkill. Any particular team you think did have a bad matchup against? I always struggle against elves usually, but that's mm-hmm. I think that's more due to me rather than chaos. Right. And but that's why I've tried to fetch in you know some things to help me deal yeah. with that kind of yeah. bullshit. Mm-hmm. But I think it could also. I keep saying rats because they're the highest team and the most developed. But it can fetch in some nice tools to help him in the inducements. But if he doesn't deal with some of the bits on the rat team, because look at all them skills. Jesus wept. Yeah, the rats are pretty cow- scary. Your cowboys are—I don't like saying, yeah, you know, horses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I feel like your team could be good, but the thing is, six unskilled rotters that don't mm. have the—is it foul appearance? Or the one? They don't know. They don't. They're just crappy rotters, unfortunately. Exactly. So if he goes, if he starts smacking into them, yeah. your team's going to be a harder match. Is, but it depends. You, you're a good coach. A lot, there's a lot of good coaches in the CL this, 
pros, it's changed yeah. teams. Mm -hmm. It's hard to call, but it's it's got some bad matchups, but it's all down to how things go. Yeah. Yeah. Like if he plays against if he plays against Necro, if he somehow gets some if he gets his um, strength four, strength five Chaos Warrior and a guard piece or something stood next to his strength five wolf hits him, knocks him off at field for a drive. Yeah. He's got a better chance, but if he doesn't knock him off it's gonna be yeah. hard. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I get what you're saying. I mean, it's it's so it's so tough, isn't it? It, it all we can do is just down a pick pick a team, and you know, there's going to be a lot of lot worse than one matchup. Um, I, I think the Necro are a bad matchup because obviously the clone strength out guy. But I'd say another yeah, team what might I'd say another team what might cause them problems is the White Lion Cavaliers. You know, with all that strength four as well, and they're, they're a bit faster, and they've got yep. some blodge, and they can pretty easily score pretty quick if the one of them got strength four thrower, so it's not going to be hard to get, it's going to be hard to get the ball off him. Um, you know, as much as we've gone on with this with this uh, player pool, I think the Cavaliers were sneakily tried to hide away and not get any uh, spotlight put on them. But I, I, I think the, the I think the Cavalier Archers by Lions could be the worst matchup because I, I, I think they've got enough strength to, to mm. go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the bash stakes with them. Because bear in mind, none of these two teams have, have the, um, the, the, the Chaos haven't got Claw yet. Um, so, you know, the, the, the Lions hit as hard as the Chaos do. Um, and they've, they've they've got a decent amount of strength for and like you said about that catcher he, yeah, he can right. friend he can set them off the pitch as well so you know Rezo's got to be careful with that as well so I I think the uh, white lines got a bit of guard yeah which, you know makes a difference in this kind of yeah um, you know when you cost them I think they're on even terms when it comes to strength four maybe mm -hmm. or, no, well I think Rez, Rez has got one more yeah I but... think the white lines have got three to um, um, the four of. Um, they've got they've got the three strength four of um, of the strength. white lines and Resno has. I'll just go back to Resno's. He's got three case so That's three strength four. So he's got f strength five, two strength, and three strength fours, hasn't he? So yeah, you know that's not bad going. But obviously the the high offs come with the jelly four, and they're faster usually. So. You know they have Blocker that too. Might have blown a play. He's got a bit. He's got some tackle. He's got a bit of guard. It's. I always struggle with elves, but I don't know. Mm. Re, do you know with Res being an elf coach? Yeah. Yep. I think he'll he'll be able to manoeuvre it a bit better because he'll know what how you know yep. elves play. Because that that's what I think. I'm going down on his skill of knowing what el how to mm -hmm. play elves. Knowing how. Yep. To, so if you know how, usually if you know how to play a team better. I found playing other teams and know how to play maybe bears help me defend against them. And with how yeah. good he is at elves, I think he'll know how to defend and stop them. Yeah. But yeah, he's got squeak, squeak sandwich kills as well, so that'll help. No rocks game of enemies, good player, so that'll always be good as well. Right then, two more teams to go. Let's have a look at the wet bandits. This team wire. Last time seen in the pros, and they did a very good job in it. I think he had a season off, so into the trophy cabin that they went, and they are back at a scary um, 1840 in TV. Well, an 1840. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, if you, yeah, Johnny's out, isn't he? Um, Cookie, do you like this team? Yeah, uh, this is a scary, scary team. Um, lots of skills. Um, I mean, I know some people don't like uh, Vatoga, but I think um, putting him in the middle with with um, with uh, his his tail, um, he he keeps people there. He keeps people there. Um, yeah, I I I I would bet that he would be he's going to be sort of up there, um, if not winning the league. I mean, he's got a a, a movement ten gutter runner. That's a that's a one turner there and then. Um, more, 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 more or less, and he's got everything he needs on there. He's got sprint, he's got um, various other things on there as well. Um, I think it's the, obviously most teams will get inducements against him, but um, Skaven are always difficult to, to, to play against, and he's got so, a team that can move around and, and cause people damage. So, I, I, yeah, this is a good thing for me. Yeah, I, I like this. Uh, what, do you, what do you think, Overkill? Top two. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's it's a scary team. But then again, you see, you know, we we we've had people like uh, Cav not happy the way these teams can come back in at full full whack because he has a massive advantage over everybody. I I think, but. At the same time, these veteran teams, like obviously we've seen a few of the old teams come back. I suppose you want to see them back at the full strength, I guess. Um, if somebody can't play for a reason, I don't think it's fair that they can't come back with his team. So, like, so if family matters happen or mm-hmm, something, mm-hmm. they need to take a break, they've got a yeah. holiday, they can't play in the league. I don't feel like it's fair just to go, right, all that time and effort that you've put into this team, it's been thrown down drain. Yeah, it's- yeah. It's also right. Say you're playing in CL and you somehow manage to get promoted in your first season. Yeah. You're gonna have to fight this in pro. Yeah. This is teaching you to fight against pro teams. You're gonna have yeah. to get used to playing against teams like this. Yeah. yeah. That's a very good point. Very good point indeed. Eh? Um, it's. I, I mean, like. Quite s- some... Go on. Sorry. Sorry. I don't quite understand why he's kept like the the uh, the number eleven. I don't quite quite understand why he's kept he's kept. He's him. a dead player. He's that's like... the only reason. Because dead players don't last okay. long on the pitch. He's... Yeah, he's just he's just there to stamp on somebody's skull. He's if he, if that rat ogre or somebody knocks over that wolf, put yep. your money on that he's gonna shuffle across. Yeah, put the foot in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I talk, is a very aggressive player, very very aggressive player. So he's got he's got two dead players. He will be stamping all over. Um, you know, so a um, very aggressive team. He plays rats really really well. Like I say, it's a pro coach playing in the CL, like a few others have. It's a pro, it, to me, it's a pro team in the Challenge League. It should be up there or thereabouts. It really should be. Uh, I, th- I don't think there's any excuse for this team not to be at the top end of the division because he's mm-hmm. built it so well. It's got everything. You know, you, yeah. it's, you know, like the, the, you can say about Necro, they've got some nice whites and all this stuff, but they're going to rely really on that one piece where this team can rely on so many different pieces. So, you know, you take one of them out, he's got plenty more. And he's got the enforcer, and if, and I can guarantee if Claw Green rolls a double next, he'll get Claw as well. So, um, um, how is that? Number two? Two, Peter, yep. Yeah. He's, he's good. a good cage diver. So oh, he is. You know, Saka he's brilliant. Ball. Yeah, he's gonna. He's getting in there. Uh, wait, is it a three plus? No, four. Four plus. plus is it? Four a, plus. Yeah. In the usual tackle zone. Yep. He's got a dodge in there as well. He's yep. um, dauntless, so he's gonna probably one die. Mhm. Usually, he's got his wrestle. Yep. You can bet he. You can bet if he gets another level up soon, he's probably gonna be picking up strip ball. Mhm. Yep. It's, it, like I said, it's a very good team, and that, like I say, with that piece itself, you know, it, it's just a really well good put team. It shows I think... you how well he knows rats. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a good coach. Um, no enhancements yet. Uh, Thirty-one wins, seven draws, fourteen losses is a very good record as well. So the guy knows what he's doing. Um, is is there? A, what, what, we'll start off with the best matchup for this team. I'm going to stay. I'm going to start this time and say ogres. I'm going to get out there. He'll just ignore the ogres. And just score at will, I think. Yep. I don't know about you two, but <laughs> that I get. He's got, he's, got, he's got enough tackle there as well to deal with. He's, yep. Even his gutter runners are two dice in his nobblers. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And and, and that uh, got... and that stone bam as well with the horns, but with a bit of assist can start taking out those um, ogres as well. Was the horn on the stone there? Which one's got? Which number's that? Am I thinking of a completely different team? Am I? Am I just saying? I'm sure it did, doesn't it? Let's have a look. I might be thinking of a different team then. Let's have a look. No, I'm talking rubbish. Which team did I see? What it's horns not. on? Yeah, there's. Yeah, it must be a different team. How strange. I'm gonna say I couldn't see horns. There. <laughs> oh well, that's I'm picking up even that. more. I'm picking up even more, but he hasn't got it. Oh well, I, I still say that they're, uh, they're the worst team to go up against. Well, I'm, though, right. Yep. He tackle he, he throws in them tackle players, uh, the ones with diving tackle, mm-hmm. you know, the nobblers. Yeah. And then his nobblers are he's just he's running away from the ogres. The ogres got no chance of catching any of his go runners unless he misplaces terribly. Yep. The the nobblers are, are gonna be throwing red dice constantly to try and do anything. He's gonna try and slow he can remove the um he can be like, right, I'm getting rid of them diving tackle. Nah, I've got nothing's gonna worry me on this team now, unless somehow a, an ogre gets a nice hitting on some of his um, mm-hmm. gutter runners, which can splat some rats. But yeah, yeah, he's gonna run around I mean, in circles. Harry, 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 and 
Claw Green are, are looking like awesome characters on that one as well. So it's yeah, it's it, it's a really good team in it. I mean, but well, I mean the ogres could certainly do some damage too. I mean they're only AB seven at the end of the day, but I think yeah, um, on the scoreboard the rats really should uh, have enough in the bank to beat them I think yeah. but it, it is blood ball isn't player. it so hmm. if, an, if an ogre drops he's jumping on it oh yeah absolutely he's stamping all over that and that's why he's got two of them um, so yeah um, is there a worse matchup for them though overkill is there any team you think oh, I don't really want to play with them uh, all depends on the inducement management right in my opinion However, somebody works the inducements against because they're going to get a lot of inducements against. They them. are, yeah, yeah. And how they work that can change his game. And yeah, because he's given a lot of inducements, oh. isn't he, to almost oh, everyone? Somebody picks, somebody picks up a wizard early yeah. on, splat that t that movement ten rat. Yeah, you've not got your one turner no more. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, Cookie, can you see a same West matchup? Or no, same with Overkill. Um, I mean, he's giving away. He's giving away with Mother Jones 400 plus in me. So, uh, yeah, it's it, it very what, what inducements and a, a lucky a lucky fireball might knock out a few of, uh, a few of them. Um, mm -hmm. And um, depending on star players, uh, again, you mentioned chainsaws and the only AB7, well, I mean, a, a, a chainsaw could be to do some nice damage mm -hmm. um, um, or someone could come across someone else to use. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's hints to lose rather than uh, it's where how he how he plays and what happens in the game um, against people really. Yeah, V Power V is saying the the Cowboys because of the inducements I would get the disturbing presence. What's minus one to each one? What is actually there for any sort of handoff or anything? And uh, would cause carnage on the one to touch down you know when they drive the one touch where they pass it to the to the runner. You could have some like minus three against him. Is I is there any tentacles that I play for Nurgle? I've not really played much. There's one, but he's only strength three, so he's pointless. Um, yeah. But I, I, I don't know, V. I, I get where you're coming from, but a, a clever coach like uh, Fire should be able to keep well away from my team. My team's just not built enough yet. A season or so, I would agree more with. But as it stands, I've got, what, 414 inducements. I could take a wizard. I could take a star player like that strength five dude just for the fun. Um, Borak, even could stamp on stuff. I want to be feeling fruity. I don't know. You could I don't put know. A beast in. A mercenary oh beast. yeah, I could put a beast in. You know, tie up a few gutters. So yeah, I get that. I suppose you guys are sort of like saying, yeah, fair enough. Mercenary I guess. Beast, put yeah. A lock on it or something. I don't know. You know, I know you're paying a lot of money for that, but yeah. a beast sat next to a gut, next to two gutter runners can just yeah. be like, yeah. try me, bitch. Yeah, I, I I personally think the best team, oh, sorry the worst team for the, for the Wet Bandits, and I I know I'm gonna say this team again, but it is the White Lion Cavaliers because they're gonna get 410 in inducement, so that's a wizard and a really cool player. Like what is it called, Matarin or whatever that strength for wrestle elf it could get as well, um or whatever his name is, and he can have a wizard and he's got all this lovely strength four stuff. He's got a friends piece to surf stuff and. I think the I really think the White Lion Cavaliers are the team. Everyone's got to keep an eye on because I think they'll be there or thereabouts. It just, it just so sounds like to me you're scared of getting soapy clean. No, I just yeah, I I I, I just you're like soap. <laughs> okay, I get soaped. Um, I I I just like them. I I just like the the way they are. I'm not like I said the only thing I don't like about them is the strength for on the ca uh, the fringe on the catcher. But I still think one thing the White Lions can do is score. So they can score the same as Rats. And they're going to have a wizard. Yeah, too. So, you know, you know, they're probably one of the few teams that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe on the scoreboard with them. So can Blue, Blue's Red Die Redemption. The problem with Red Die Redemption is they've got a lot of busted pieces. The, uh, and they'd be getting less in inducements. And if they play them after the first game, they probably won't get any inducements. So to me, I think the Cavaliers, with all the inducements, as you obviously said, Overkill, going on whatever inducements you go for, um, I just think they're really... I think that is a good matchup for the for the High Elves. Um but again, we'll see, won't we, as, as the thing go along. Uh, right, final team, the Playground and Cowboys. It's the one V-Power's been waiting for. The last team, probably will end up last. Um, 
2200, had to cut them down to 1400. Oh, joy, try to cut 800 off this team. Regarded as, back in the day, one of the most feared kill teams, they labelled it. Um, not as killy these days, although this can still pack a punch. Um, what do you think of the team Cookie for 1400? Yeah. What, I mean, I'm not being around when you when they when they were in the heights. Um, how, why did you cut so much? Cause obviously... um, there was I left the MML. There wasn't in the trophy cabinet. Um, I retired. Ah. I retired them after they deleted the team because I felt bad. I won a ball right. game with them, and they deleted Blue Max's lizards. He wouldn't stay down, so I had to keep hitting him. And I think Mad Frankie Fraser killed a couple of them who are on my team number eight number nine um so i was a bit sad and i retired them and then i was going to bring some else back but didn't and they've just been left there on a shelf because i went in the trophy cabinet and i think back in the day on the trophy cabinet that wasn't one of the rules anyway that if you put them in and um, they, they could come back then i think that must have been something else what happened um okay. but yeah so obviously i've got to go by the rules so 1400 i've had to get rid of the beast um who was famous for doing nothing but was killed so many times at regen every single time um <laughs> i had a I had dr death who was a mighty blow claw pal on killer i, I had various right. other stuff two dead players a lot but yeah so i haven't got all that i've had to cut it down to 1400 i only I had 90 of that is in fan factor so I, there wasn't much i could do so like i say we know they're not uh, going to probably get thing of the fair the, season the, but the, the disturbing the disturbing presence is always um, because that affects things like pass and hand mm -hmm. stuff and all that kind of thing. Um, team, team, teams who are doing things like that, like the elves and the Skaven, and um, as mentioned in chat, um, that they they hate that because obviously it's a simple handoff and something they can't do because your your disturbing present happening. And also when you have to attack someone without appearance, um, you obviously have to re roll before you attack them. So. It's, it gets difficult, especially like sort of the, uh, ogres. So when when you have to have, um, you have to roll boneheads and you have to offer up power appearance, and that's even before we hit you. Um, it's 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 really it's really difficult. So with the team we got, you, you know, you, you've still got a couple of kill pieces in there. Um, a mad fan, Frankie Fraser sounds horrible, um, but yeah, no, I I, I think it, I think from my from my going, yeah, I think I, I think you stand a, a chance of being up there. Uh, overkill. Rotters, six rotters. Mhm. Mm That's going to be your biggest weakness. Yeah, but at least I can throw them away. <laughs> I oh, can just, yeah, yeah. I can say, hey, hit them, hit them. I don't care about them. The uh, thing is, though, somebody hits one of your big players and knocks him out. Yeah. Your team's going to start to look a lot worse. Say so somebody yeah. knocks out Frankie. Yeah. Don't not kill him. Just say, put yeah. him into dead and injured so he's missing that game. Yeah. Team's missing a lot. Yeah. No, he doesn't it, have foul appearance. Neither does the Jura the Fest it got. Mm. So you play it, two of your big, big, big players that are going to make a massive difference in your game don't have that foul appearance. One of them goes missing in the game. Yeah. yeah. One of them goes missing in the game and it's just going to go downhill quick, mm. in my opinion. Yeah, yeah like I like said, it's, it's, it's not a complete team. Um, I think everyone can see that. Know. It's... I feel like if you could have done a farm game, but then you're risking level. <laughs> you've got that that Nurgle Warrior there level. I know it sounds weird, but you know if you could have got a farm game and tried to get some points on your rotters, mm. I know it sounds stupid. Mm. But if you could, like like Cavs done, Cavs come in with his generic people sat there with nothing really, but they sat there waiting. Yeah. They, they sat there waiting for just go tick 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 over, and then you just. Your team's gone from fourteen hundred. With... Yeah. Just... The the thing with rotters, I I don't want many skills on my rotters. I don't. I mean, TV on case and is awful anyway. And apart from dead player, there's not really much I really like on on I rotters. Mean, I, and... don't re I don't really it... play Nurgle, so I'm, yeah. I'm not an expert. I, I, don't, I, I'm just going to play the long game with them. Um, I mean, that, that number three closeness, the strength five guy, I bought him from Don Eagle, I think, first season. In three seasons, he only got five XP. So I've, been, I've kept him what? because I thought, you know what, damn, am I going to let him retire until he gets a level up. Well, I, I had to sack one of my Chaos Warriors off because in 13 games he got zero XPP. Yeah. So I sacked him off and sat out signing a Chaos Warrior to make 
Because sometimes yeah. your warriors in these chaos teams just don't want SBP. Just, yeah. No matter how hard you try. Yeah. Oh, even worse, but yours being agility too. At least I can like attempt to score with my chaos warriors. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Nagel plays slightly different to, to Chaos. I mean, that's a good thing about Chaos oh, no, Warriors, isn't it? Yeah. But, I mean, I'm obviously... Say... Yeah, sorry. Go on. I was, I'm just saying, th there's a different option with your Chaos Warriors. You can get yeah. crafty scoring. Yeah, that that makes it easy to level them up as well, doesn't it? The, uh, the Chaos Warriors. So, you know, but I suppose people will say, well, Nagel, they get the stand presence. They, you know, they, them Warriors can make them handoffs risky, they got regen, so where other teams they yeah. have to rely on a, an Apo, when the Apo's Regen's gone, that's it. Yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> I, uh, and then obviously got Nagel's Rot, so if I kill one of your players, he joins my team, and number 8, 9, 10, and the famous cheesing, number 11, who had the audacity to try, uh, it was a gut run who tried to cage dive into my cage where there was some very nasty people i think it was um a mad frankie he ended up based at and mad just killed him um the rotters though decay i know but the cheap the 40k the, the there was a meat oh, shield I so i know but that's that uh, in your first game it can yeah. happen i've had it happen where i've played against teams like this and i've splattered three four and sent yep. dead and injured yeah uh, and then you just have to rely on Lona Rotters. We just have to rely on Lona Rotters. There's nothing you can do. I mean, like 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 I, I mean, I'm sure we all know, you've only got a certain TV, so you've got to do the best you can. I'm happy with my team as Didn't it you is. Do you have any bonus? No, because like I said, I left the MML and all that, so I didn't get any of that. I've only just come back from years out, so um, it was fun. I, I've, I've not yeah. been in the MML that long, have I? I've... Yeah, that, you know, like I said, I've, I've just come back. So I, I was quite happy to go 14, and that, they're the rules, and I didn't have an issue with it. And I know, the, well, there shouldn't be any pressure on me because, you know, it's it's a 1,400 Nagel team. You know, you don't expect... <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Keep bragging well, about it. <coughs> we, we don't need to brag. One of, them's, one of them's won the championship, you know, so... And, you know, and Thunden's a very good coach, and Rand's done really well with his team, so, you know... We're all right. We we don't mind. Rand, though, he's not a very good coach. Oh, he always he says that. He always says that. I'll say that. Everyone will say that. Just you know, we 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 don't we don't go around saying we're better than everybody else. We just are proud to be the four horsemen. And when when we first did it last time round, we had all these people keep taking the mic and, and saying, "Oh, this this and that." And we was like, "Yeah, whatever." And we did all right against them. We did all right against them. You know. You're all riding one horse. I'm not. I'm a cowboy. But, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I, I mean, Like I said, last time I was in the MML, this same thing happened, and then we had half the MML crying about my team because they broke teams. So, we'll see. I, I like doing my okay. talking on... I like doing my talking on the pitch. I, I'm not into you're all only, this. You're you know. on CL, so it doesn't bother me. I'm in pros. There you that's go, you awesome. see. That, that, that's where we got... All, when we first did the Four Husband, what was a lot of fun, and we did have a lot of fun, and like I, I really enjoy what Cav's done with the with the, the clean, and it's going to be really fun, and obviously me and Beers always have a good scrap and a good laugh, and I you just, know... I just like there being these two coalitions of... The Four Horsemen and the Clean Brigade, whatever they're called, I don't know, it, the Clean. It's going to be fun. Um, it's I, gonna, think, I, I just want to sit in the middle, let them two fight, and bathe in the chaos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the chaos, chaos Nation have always been very strong, and obviously they're the champions, so I, I like Chaos. Um, you know, and that's a surprise for you people. I've done very well playing Chaos before. Um, you know, I've won championships, uh, the champion ladder with Nergal, I've even won it with Dwarfs, so, you know, I, I like the Bash team, so I, I have a lot of Chaos, Nergal and everyone, so. What's your plans for this team in the rest of the season? Are you going to fetch a Nergal Warrior? Survive. Are you going to fetch a Beast? What's your, um, what's your thing? What's, I, I, well, I, I've got 150k, uh, I'll be honest, there's a few things. One could be a re-roll because I, I i i don't like having two i know everyone will be like no don't do that Benny. um the other thing is buying two brand new pesticles um that is yeah, another option two. so you'd rather have two more pesticles and finish your fourth chaos warrior yes uh, no go worry for it yes because I've got targets in the transfer market for next season. So I'm thinking if I'm going to bring a Nagel Warrior in, and hopefully with the three will be okay to me to waste some money in the long term. I'm not looking to make the playoffs this season. I'd have probably thought about... I'd have maybe thought about... Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't like Beasts very much. 
I want to say maybe think about fetching a Pestigon transfer and get it. Yeah. I, I got this, this, this a really nice um, Nagel warrior I've got lined up with with a fellow four horseman if he doesn't lose his. Um, and failing that, I've got a nice one getting built up, hopefully if he survives, in the farm. So the plan, the problem I've got is, I mean, I could lose one of these warriors and it would change differently, but my, my brain's telling me if you buy, I mean, what, the 110k for a fresh warrior who aren't really that reliable to start off with, and then end of the season, don't forget, it's only seven games I've got to go without this warrior. You know, I, 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 if, if I lose every game, then that's fine. But if it means that when I come back for next season and I brought in this really nice warrior to complement the other three, and if closest can finally get that 2xp for tentacles, um, you know, my plan is to get all the warriors with tentacles because I just think it'll look cool. It may not be brilliant be... tactical, but I think it'll look cool. But it, even sort of, uh, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of high strength in here today. Even even if you um, if you have tentacles, then it means that people if you get them right, they can't move from from where they are. So you mm. you've trapped them. Um, yeah. I mean, like, sort of, um, I didn't know about tentacles when I first started playing, and I played. Um, a, a a guy with tentacles. I put my stop in next to him, and I just my stop <laughs> just move. It was like, yeah. why can't they move? Because they're strength one. And they yeah. can they can move. So tentacles is 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 useful. But I think I I think it's a it's a good team to start off with. And if you if you're aiming just to survive, which is always good. Um, yep. and this is a building a building year. You've got a good you've got a good base to build on. Yeah, and that, that's basically what it is. Anything else is a bonus. Because sometimes, you know, people say, oh, yeah, we should try and make the playoffs. And look, I'll try and win as many games as I can. I'm not going to roll over and have my belly tickled. Uh, but the problem is, is with teams like this, if you make the pros, and as I think Overkill's always said, they are nasty teams up there. You know, we're talking about one team in the rats, like, oh, my God, you know. Um, so you don't really want to go up to the pros yet. Yeah, you want to people... you want to build your team up first, then go to the pros. People are saying about these trophy cabinets, like, oh dear, oh no. But think about it this way: you've got one trophy cabinet team in your pool. Yeah. Imagine going up to the pros and yep. a full league of that. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why you know I say that's why I probably won't take a Nagel Warrior. I'll 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 take my licks. Get I'll get beat a few times. I know will and and all the abuse what comes with it. But um, long term. I I'm hoping that we, when we when we you do make the beast. when we do make the pros then yeah but the thing is if all, all former warriors have tentacles yeah I could have a beast but you know I, I don't know cool. it, does cool. it does look cool it does look cool and I might get I the like beast I like them squelching around the field nice. yeah I I agree they look cool don't they and um, I think having five tentacle pieces would look really fun. Done a pop tactical, but fun, and that's that's what I'm trying to bring her back and it get a bit. It sounds of... annoying. Not it does, yeah. That's what they will do, don't they? They, they annoy stuff. So, yeah, they annoy stuff. Yeah, annoy stuff. Annoy as much else as you want. Yeah. So the you know the, the, they've got the security gate record, 25 wins, nine draws, eight losses. Not bad. Last game they played, like I said, the last game they played Decent was a ball game. game. So. Decent yeah. Claw and mighty blow. Yeah, but saying that, I mean, people before someone says something or says something um, in chat, when when I did play them the first season and I had no claw or anything, and yes, they did get beat by Beers' is chaos. I think the first game come pick the bloody ball up, but he played well and beat me. Um, they won the league. They won that league. The, so the play pool, I should say, they finished top, and then they made the final of the challenge, and that was with a team a lot worse than this. So. You never know. Lightning mice. You never know. But what were your what what were your pools like back then? You know what I mean. You didn't. Did you uh, there was uh, well, Beers had a seriously good team, and um, he's now champion. And he had a good team back then as well. Maybe well, you, he had a good Rez, team. Which is a former. Yeah. If I'm yep. Rez is a former champion. I had. Who else did I have? Uh, I had. I had Bezo with his lizards. I think it was Dano Rock. There was a serious uh, powerhouse. Uh, this, he, put, he, he might have even had him back then. Um, he might have had him back he, he then. He was original Leatherface, but, I think. I, I remember a bit. Um, I mean, Shane Bears in here, because Bears would probably have a better memory than me, but it wasn't an easy play pool. I'll tell you that now. Uh, I'm not saying this is an easy play pool, but, 
You know, I, I've got to say that before someone says, oh, but Ben, you saying you're not going to make the playoffs, but the last time with the West team, you made the playoffs and finished top. So I'm just getting out there now before anyone says, oh, well, you know that. But um, my plan is to get tentacles on all them lovely Nagel Warriors. Um, when Perfect. number one number when number one levels up, he's getting tentacles. When number two levels up, he's getting tentacles. And number three is definitely getting tentacles. The signing I'm looking at has got tentacles and his strength five. So I'm just that's thinking, my job. How's your team gonna face against Necro? I don't know. I, I don't like playing against Necro. Uh, Momo's a good coach. He could rip me a new one. But all I'm gonna say is, if he gives me a shot on that wolf, I will take it. Thing is, if you give him a shot on Smear, no oh, yeah. worries with that wolf. He's yeah. gonna take. He's that. gonna take it. Absolutely. He can go in, hit them, and run out. And that's why I say it's such a dirty thing. But like I said, if it's the first game of the season, I'm taking a wizard. As soon as he's in range, as long as I can roll a two plus, I'm bolting it and I will foul it. I oh, I yeah. guarantee you that will happen. Um, because if I can get him off the pitch, then I'm confident we can at least try and manage the rest of them. But it's all hearsay, you know, I could get a wizard roll one. You just don't know. Um yeah. but can... pff, I don't know. I, I can't worry I can't worry what will be think... will be. Who do you think your best matchup is? Uh, the curtains. The Currens. Who do you think your worst matchup is? I've got it down to two. Um, Snoopy's Revenge and the Wet Bandits. The Wet Bandits have got that killer. And I, but I would get a lot of inducement. So for that for that reason, I'm going to say the Necro. I hate playing against Necro. I don't like playing against Necro. Um, so I'm going to say they're one worst match because I'll only get Nat K inducements, but I will get a wizard if I can. Um, he also matches you in strength. Yeah, yeah. I hit harder than he does, but he does have that one piece. But he's got a lot more skills than you. He well, does. Not a lot more skills. He does, it, but he's I got more distribution of skills. Yeah, I say, rather yeah. Than... Yeah, my my guys are there. The, my guys, what can get the powers, can do damage like his can. Um, that's why the my worst matchup, but. I, I I would the way I look at it is he probably could he probably will beat me but I'd be disappointed if we don't take a few of his with us. I I don't think anyone will be I don't think any of these seven teams will want to play the Cowboys even though they are weak because they because they can beat them, but my team can hurt people, and you don't want to lose players. That that's that's the sort of thing. Um, you sound like Murray's Joffs now. Calm down. Mum, oh Murray. I don't know who Murray is. Um, Did but... you Murray? No. He fetched in the, he fetched oh, in the season's all right. The pile on choice. All right. He fetched in mighty blow claw pile yeah. on choice that were like a, a controversy in the league. Why? Because they killed because stuff. It were, it were a team that were designed to kill. To kill. Right. Okay. It it it's an awkward thing because like when I came back to the MML, I was on about oh yeah look, look it, it's nice we don't do kill teams and that and I'll be honest and I've said this to many people I'll say it now my um, MML team was gonna be rats um, I've got one I played six one six that was my team I was just in a few more play pieces and then we came to the bit where I looked at the other teams and I'm like uh, kill teams there's no kill teams there's loads of kill teams there's tons of kill teams in the MML. Um, I'm not. Mean? Oh, there's plenty. I there's plenty. There's plenty of kill teams. What I class as kill teams, there is plenty in there. What, what's um, your class, classification on kill teams? Um, dwarfs with five plus mighty blow. Um, two mighty blow piling on claw pieces. Loads of dirty players. Um, teams what are built mainly to kill more than anything else. Um, off the top of my head, there's plenty. There's what? plenty. What they're saying, what they're saying about the ring kill. There's no team that somebody's going out there to definitely kill you 100. Mm. You know, did you wrong your team, delete your team. Yeah, yeah. There's some teams, such you're saying mighty blow dwarfs. The way that dwarfs need to play is a grindy game. They can't outpace elves. They need to break elf armor yeah. and stun. Mm -hmm. They need to break elf armor and send to KO. They're not yeah. there to kill. They're there to help themselves. Because I, if I you can try and keep. Yeah. Keep up with a movement four, movement five player against a movement eight. Well, it depends how you position. Um, dwarf, I mean, wood elf coaches. You ask, you ask a wood elf coach. Do you want to go against a couple of mighty blow and claw, or do you want to go against five mighty blow tackle 
um, with a couple of pile on their dwarfs, they'll pick the, the Nagel or the Chaos every time because Claw doesn't affect them. Same with Rats. You know, Mighty Blow is the only skill what adds to injuring players. Claw doesn't. Claw drops the armor down. It doesn't add to injuring them at all. So oh, Mighty yeah. Blow is the kill skill. And this is what I was confused. And in the end, I'll be honest, I bottled it. I was like, I'm not taking Rats. There's no way. And that's why I have a lot of respect for the likes of Gadley because... I, I look at a lot of these MML teams, not all of them, but I look at a lot of these MML teams, um, and I'm like, you know, you're kidding yourself if you're telling them, telling them to me and this is all a fun league where no one's killing stuff because there's so many teams, you know, what have got so much firepower. There's teams before Claw Mighty Blow I've seen. There's, there's uh, I think there's a Dwarf team with seven or eight Mighty Blow in, in 11 players. So, you what know, was, it's... What's it, happened, I, right? If you'd have seen Murray's chaos that he fetched in yeah yeah he fetched in a min max team of chaos yeah with at least four to five chaos with, with pylon mighty blow yeah pylon and claw yeah. yeah and i appreciate that i mean that that's built for one thing that's, so I, I get that i get that and that that's that's, that's the mml i think that everyone's got an op opinion the like kill team but i think that's like the definition yeah. you know of, i i sort of when I was asking people, that's what I came to, is basically saying, look, you know, everyone's got, like, the skills, but what they don't want to see is mass pile on, you know, because, you know, that and that's fair enough, because you don't uh, need low mass pile on. Yeah, basically, yeah. One, but one, one or two pieces. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. And I, I, I think what I've learned, though, is a lot of people say it's not really the team, it's the way the coach plays them. If you're beating on the team and you've won the game easy and you're still... It's Beating on them, what fouling is, them, no and killing them. The gas. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's think, the thing, think, isn't it? That that, that, that you can't that's... my team to kill team. My pile on piece has got strength too. Mm. But it can still kill. That's the oh, thing. Oh yeah, no, it can still kill. No, like any, anything can still kill. kill. Anything can kill. That's the thing. Uh, when I played in other, when I played in other leagues, uh, like in Rebel, I played like a uh, proper kill teams, like two thousand Nagel kill teams from a little chaffs. And the thing what did the most damage to me was two dark elf teams. They they killed I think they destroyed six players. Um, I think I maybe lost one other chaff in the full league. So I went the through all the kill that teams. The most damage to me. Yeah. I played chaos, and I played Nurgle with a pile on that nasty little future mm -hmm. in my hatred for them goes deep with his uh, with his Nurgle warrior a pile on bullshit array. Yeah. The team that's done the most damage to me in the long run is Amazons. Yeah, Thunders it's it's funny, Amazons, isn't it? It's, it's funny which teams do it. I mean, we all say, "Oh my God, these guys have got these are killing. We I'm gonna get beat up." And then it and then it doesn't happen. And then you'll play, "Oh great, ogres or oh great Amazons or whatever dark elves," and they're the ones who who, who end up cleaning your clock. Um, but there you go. So I told you what I think is my best matchup and my worst matchup is. Um, Cookie, who do you think my best matchup is? Um. I think you, I think you sound a good chance with like, 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 I think you sound a good a good chance with anybody really. Um, your disturbing presence is something that really annoys all all all, all, all teams. You've got you've got uh, some really nice players on your on your team which will cause uh, cause havoc. Um, so again, um, I think the elf teams because of your disturbing presence you 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 stop their elf you you might be able to stop their elf BSing um, from that from that from that point of view. Um, because if you stand in the night place, they can't pass, they can't catch as easy as they would as they would as as they would before. Um, so I, I think you stand a good chance with with, with everybody really. And um, as for your worst, again, things like the scaven and the necro, I think will give you will give you problems. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think I think I think your sort of disturbing presence is something that I, I I've never really got a hang of playing against, and it can be just, it can be it can be an annoying thing that. Is on the pitch and you forget it's there. Yeah, I mean the other, the other thing I will say about that is usually a negative team will have five disturbing presence. I only have three because obviously I ain't got a beast. I haven't got four warriors, yeah. so I suppose it doesn't affect them as much. But you are right; you have to forget about it. And a lot of players, especially when I be playing the family with the teams, are just like casually don't even look the throne with the the elf, and it's like a four plus or a six plus. Like why why is that? And then they realise, oh no, it's because disturbing yeah. presence. Um, so yeah, that that that's a fair point. Um, overkill, best worst matchups. Uh, your best matchup by the ogres. Mhm. Mm or foxes chaos. 
Yeah. I think, I think... You... The... Go on, sorry. You, you carry on with what you're going to say. No, I just, I just about to agree. I think the reason before it, before Fox thinks we all pick on him, it's because there's no rerolls. That's why. <laughs> That's why I fancy playing against him more well, than anything my else. My thing is, you can, go, you can go pound for pound with him. Mm -hmm. He's got three Chaos... He's got three Chaos Warriors and a Minor. You've got... All right, you've only got three Nurgle Warriors and a... You haven't got your Beast or a four Chaos Warrior. But one of his Chaos Warriors is fresh. You know, which mm -hmm. that makes a big difference because fresh Chaos Warriors is just subjectively worse. Yeah. This, they get a lot better as soon as you have blocked them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. Um, um, he's got no rerolls. His team's. It's his first time playing Chaos. He's got a. He's being let. He's a, he's a kid that's been let into a candy shop and he's just like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's experimenting, which is I great. Don't disagree I don't, with. Yeah. It's fun. It's, it's, it's the part of playing Blood Bowl. Yeah. But I just feel like you're going to have a shit on him. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's only got 10k as well in the bank. That's the other thing. So he's, he's not like he can go out and buy something pretty quickly, like a reroll or an extra warrior or something. That that's gonna hurt. But like like he said to me, and you said in this floor floor, like at the end of the day, it's probably like next season we're gonna really have a go at it. But I, I played this guy before, and he's a good player. So you know, good players can make that's average thing teams. About this fool. Mm -hmm. You like we're saying if they forget about your disturbing presence, a lot of these players have probably been at some point yeah. been pro. I think. Mm -hmm. Rez has been pro, Fire Talk has been pro, has Tan been pro? I don't sure. know, but, uh, but he's, know he's a very good that. ogre player, so people have said in I the chat. He's a very good coach. Yeah. yeah. Cav's been pro, Fox has been pro, Blue's been pro. Mm hmm. So there's um, a lot pro. Obviously, Momo's I've, been pro. I've been pro. Well, you when I say when I say forget, sometimes in in the heat of in the heat of playing. Oh yeah, I know that. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of people. That yeah, uh, experience. Know what they're doing. Yeah, they yeah. played a lot of blood bowl in the time. They know what they're doing. I yeah. know you do forget shit. Everybody forgets shit. But I'm yeah. saying there's a lot of people that know lots of little tricks and ins and outs of things that you just. Mm -hmm. can't. I know that a lot of them are playing different teams to what the like. Res is playing chaos, where he's usually a, a elf player, but. Some things yeah. carry over. He's got a movement seven. I know it's harder to do, mm. but he's got a movement. I think is, I'm sure he's got a movement seven beastman if I remember correctly. Yeah. He does, yeah, he does. So he probably being a wood elf player, he knows how to one turn. Oh yeah, he that will. Movement uh... seven, that movement seven beastman. If if he rolls right, he could one turn with. Mm. Which yep. can upset things. Yeah. I think this league, this pool's a, a rather guild pool, to put it bluntly. Like, mm. Mm. But now comes the hard part. The that. hard part comes now. We're going to pick which two we think will make the playoffs. So I want the team what's going to finish second. Um, and I'll go to Cookie first. Who do you think will finish second in this play pool? I'm I so I I'm going for the revenge. I think Stevie's uh, um um Stevie's revenge will will come, will come second. Okay, what about your overkill? It's a tough call. It is really for second for second place. This this league is going to be fighting for second place, in my opinion. Okay. If, um, Red Die Redemption niggles, hold out if you know what I mean. Yep. He could be putting a challenge in for second place, but it's a lot of niggles. Mm. They're not bound to hold out, but we've seen it happen where the team like that's held out. Yep. Yeah. The Snoopy, his team looks really tight. He looks really good. Yeah. I, I feel believe. like this. I feel like you could make second place. I feel like this league. It's close, isn't it? I'm, I don't know. You're going. But I feel like this league is going to be like a hair off a of who's second. Yeah, everyone beating this everyone sort of thing. This fight for. Yeah. This one, this league could be one or one point off a of second place for like mm -hmm. two or three people. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. I can agree. With who are you going to pick for second though? Uh, 
<laughs> it's tough, isn't it? I'm still thinking now. <laughs> I was hoping Cookie would take a bit longer and he's just... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm, I'm currently flicking through the other teams and I'm like... Well, depending on how... Cavs it's hard, isn't it? Up, he's got a lot that's close yeah. to level. And depending on how they level, that can change the dynamic yeah. of the pool. I, th I, th I, think, I think you're right, though. I, I think... The second I think second place is going to be the one people are going to be... That's, that I, I can see four or five teams put... fighting over it. I want to put my faith into um, Rez. I'll say Rez second. Okay, okay. Ooh, my turn, isn't it? Oh, God. Um, I, I hate having to pick second place because okay. it's terrible for it. I've got, I've got to be nice and quick. Second place, Snoopy's Revenge. There you go. Nice and quick. No worries. Um, who's I want gonna? To say that, but I don't want to be too cookie cutter. Who <laughs> like, <laughs> cookie? Who's gonna win the? Who's gonna win the division? I, I, I'm going over for the Skaven. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean they're, they're, they're the highest TV, but they're they're, they're a good team. Um, yeah. They've got lots of thing thing thing, thing there. Um, I, I think they'll be difficult. I think I think they might lose one or two. Mm -hmm. But I can't. I, I I can I can I can um, with uh, uh, maybe enough of not being on the side for a couple of matches. Um, but I I I can see Fire Talker um, and the, and the Wet Bandits um, being top. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe closer than we think it's going to be. But I can I can see them at least being up there. Okay. And uh, Overkill, who's your top spot going to? I said it. I said it when we review the team. I think it's going to be the Wet Bandits. Okay. Fair enough. All right. My top. Tip my the team I think will finish top is White Line Cavaliers. I think the okay. bandits will come third. I think the I just right. I I think I see the problem I've got. I'm putting a lot of trust in what people have told me. I'll be honest because I've never seen Cavalier Archer play, but to my knowledge, he played in the pros. I played, but, but yeah. well, I played. In, I haven't played him. He's fighting in the pros. I'm looking at team build apart from obviously the catcher. Um, he's got a lot of strength. He's got all the agility. He's going to get inducements from quite a few of these teams, and I think he can get it done. I, I. And if you're here, Cav, or if you watch this later, Cav, unlucky, you, but I kicked your ass. Yeah, but again, you know, at the end of the day, it's like you can win one game, but if he wins the league, well, you know, you, you're going to lose some games. At the end of the day, he's he, got he... six one four as his record. Yeah, we'll see. I, I can't go with the rats because I knew you two would go with the rats. But That's the... why I didn't go with Necro. Yeah, yeah, but the inducements could be big. And, you know, we talk about attrition. People, I don't think none of us have really said any attrition about the rats, and the rats are, uh, are, are renowned for breaking. And like I think you said mm. earlier, um, Overkill, about if they lose that uh, one turner or they lose that killer. All of a sudden, that team is... I mean, you can say about every team, I know that. But all of a sudden, what that team say, is a scary. He's, he's probably used to playing against, you know, people with inducements. And yeah. Probably, you know what I mean? He's had yeah. some experience with that, with his team. Like, look at his team, you know. Yeah. I feel like he'll know what he's doing. Yeah. And I... You could... We could say attrition about all teams, and all yeah. teams can break really yeah. easily. So, but I'm just feeling like it's the wet bandits because of just the I, th I think like I think most history. people will agree with you too um, I'm, I'm not denying that for a second um, I think a lot will but I'm thinking you've got some very smart coaches with I inducements think, I feel like yeah. the basic gutter runners are just good anyway straight on the field yeah they are but they can break got, so, as well yeah so say he's moving to one break he's got 8k in bank he's fetching another one straight yeah. in yeah, but again, it's still it's, it, it's still not. Uh, I mean, they are good. Gurren is good. They can run the rings around most of these teams. I get that. I I, I just think with four hundred odd TV, Momo who could get Cheney strength four, Wrestle Peace go with his strength five, lovely uh, Wolf and White Lion Cavaliers with a Wizard and maybe a Moranian or something else. I think they they they, they could make it a fight. And they, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I'm not. I, I mean, YouTube could be at the end of the season. The Web Bandits could easily win the league. I'm not saying that at all. I, I just, I, I just got this funny feeling, and I've seen this before when I've done recaps before in the MML. We'll all fall in love with one team, and then that team, for one reason or, or another, don't make it. Um, so, by the way, if I could, yeah, I'm sorry for putting a curse on you because I feel like I put a curse on you now. 
Yeah, well, he'll, he'll be delighted I picked him. He'll be delighted. Cavalier Archer doesn't know anything about Marquez, so he's fine. Um, so he's all right. Question as well. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is going to be bombed to in this pool? Oh, it's I don't know. Well, I don't know. I, I if I had to pick, I I don't know. I think it's too close. Uh, the Curitans would get it by default for no rerolls, but I, I I would like to say it would be the second. But again, Fox is a good coach. I just can't get away from this no reroll build. But he'll probably turn around and say, look. This is this is a long term build, and that's some people have got to understand with Chaos and Nagel and other teams like that. That the, you know they're trying to build, and he's he's thought, you know what? I don't care if I lose this season, long as I can develop the players I've got, and then the re rolls. It's a lot of money, though. To it is. For re it is. It is. It wouldn't have been the way I'd have done it. But and it's ironic that he's a Wood Elf coach. Wood Elf coaches I've seen before play with no re roll builds. These ain't wood elves. I think that's where he's gone. <laughs> These ain't wood elves. That's why he's gone that way. I think he's thinking, I can, I've can. played with no rerolls before. Yeah. I can do it. Yeah. And then he's going to be in for a rude awakening when he tries to play a bash team with no rerolls. Yeah. Um, the only the only thing I'll say is a good coach, and that might be enough to get him there. I, 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 I will tell you this, though, and uh, this will, everyone will probably laugh at the end of the season if they, if, if they watch this back. I think the mighty, mighty Reds will shock people no, in this I, league uh, i'm with you oh. with that one i i i i i i think it, it, it's a good ogre build um and i think with a bit of luck um i i think he 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 could he and tar's a good coach yeah. um he could do he could do quite he could do quite well um it, it depends it, yeah it depends on, on how the dice fall for him yeah. but mm. i think with ogres as i've seen before people don't play ogres that well that often so you don't often have to play them so you don't have to have a thing about you've got five places five ogres on the pitch what do i do with them mm -hmm. um i've had play, I, i've had people play me who haven't played ogre before and they stand off me and that gives me that that, that means i can slowly move up the pitch and um, mm -hmm. if i've got no, if there's no tackle zones i can i can yeah yes uh, yeah so it, it's it's kind of Ogres, are, ogres don't get played that often, so people don't know how to play them, uh, play, play against them. Um, oh. and... <laughs> yeah. So I mean, when I play play against ogres, I'll I'll do the perfect drive, score on turn eight, and then they'll just go, here you go, here's a ball, <laughs> throws a nobbler in, and he scored, and there's now what I can do about it. That's what yeah, usually happens. I, 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 I think I think I think hmm. I'm, I'm I, as as a fellow ogre coach, I hope I hope I hope to I hope the mighty my reds do do well um, do it, do us proud. Mm. Week three or four, mm. I think we should do a, like a little recoup of this league and see how <laughs> it's going. Hey, look, remind me, and I don't mind doing it. If you remind me, I don't oh, mind doing we, it. If we come in and see how, you know, how that niggled elf team's doing, yeah. how the rats have got on, uh, mm -hmm. you know, how Cavalier's getting on, I think it'll be a whole different league week three yeah. and week four. Yeah, usually when we do the predictions, they're usually totally way off. <laughs> oh man, now anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I don't. But yeah, I mean, if you guys remind me, um, like like I said to everybody else, if they want someone doing, you know, remind me. But just remember, I, I I do a lot of recaps, not just the MML. I've got the Rebel was just starting up. I've got Blood and Tears. Um, I've got a charity tournament. I've got a Blitz starting up. I've got the Clan, and you know, as long as people remind me, I'll do it. But you know, try to keep I'm up with everything. I'm trying to remind you, but it's reminding myself. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, if we do like, if we look back into this league with how tight. Well, I think all the leagues are probably going to be tight. Yeah. But I think, I think this, this I will think be really tight. Around week three, week four, should do a full MML rundown and see how things have changed from you and look at yeah. what you predicted. <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's it's what. If if you if I'll I'll put it in my book and if we remember, we'll do. I'm sure someone will remember. But that is us done. It has been a whopping two hour, 27 minutes wow. of carnage. You can't, you can't say we haven't been in depth and chatted a lot of shit. There you go. I can't agree well, any more than that. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. It's been fun, hasn't it? It's been fun. And we'll have to see if any of us have got these right at the end of the season. I think you two are pretty pretty good on on your predictions, to be fair. Um, I'd thanks. I'd... Go on. Sorry, you were saying something else? I like your idea. I, I think I think you like the the the, the white lion cavaliers could could be the dark horse. <laughs> yeah. Um. In 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 this team, I think they could. They could. Um, I've got a good feeling. Uh, yeah. No. I feel like they're gonna get slobbered on by some chaos. Uh, by some Nurgle. 
I don't know. I don't. Yeah, you see, if I make them a bit dirty because they're clean, it might they, they might you know lose lose their uh, the plot if, might if be. If you throw a bit of mud on the nice right arm, <laughs> yeah, you might never have to know. Run off the field to clean it. <laughs> There you go, you see, give me tactics. I might, I might do all right against them now. No, I know that. Uh, but that is us done. Um, thanks for my two coins. You've both been amazing. Thanks to Overkill. Thanks for Cookie. Brilliant insight to all the teams. Uh, thanks for everybody who was in the, obviously, in the chat. And obviously, um, this will go with the rest of the, uh, on my YouTube channel, this will go with all of the previews. So if you've missed out on a few, they'll all be there because I will do every single one of your divisions. I will not miss any no. out. And uh, that's us done. Thanks again. Take care, and we'll see you all on the pitch. And everyone, good luck for the for the uh, season. And finally, congratulations once again to one of the legends of the MMLBs winning with his McGreevy Misfits. I love you, buddy. Take care, guys. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>